We are live, and this is ABW After Dark. Hello, everybody. I shall now turn the uh, attention to the window with the people in. We've got Gunas in USA, Danny, Usama Zaka. Um, that would probably be Mike, who's uh, now famous in America for having the Arsenal um, sign when he's at WWF. WWF. It's not WWE. Wow. I say fuck the pandas. Oh, don't, not an actual you're gonna panda. Get tr- you're you're, you're going to get us into trouble. You're going to get us into trouble. Imagine did, did you want to tell bamboo? What? Did you want to tell the people that are watching this podcast yes. now? Yes. What you just did in front of me? I had a piss. <laughs> I've got that's questions. that's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we sat here on video chat as <laughs> Danny had a piss. Well, I'm not going to go and have a piss in the bathroom just to appease you, am I? I'm going to try and disgust you. I just looked you in the eye and it was weird. It was. No, I mean, like, eyes. Yeah. Not the... Not was the, it that bit? Oh, it, <laughs> was that the bit that put you off? <laughs> no, it was, to be honest with you, it's when you wiped it. That's, that's what put me off. Well, you know, you have to use one of those steam mop cleaners to get it done properly. You don't want any dribs or drabs. Got to be careful. Dribs. Oof, it's terrible. Not much. It, Can't fuck around. So, what... What have you been up to over the summer then, Danny? Oh dear, where should we start? I've been watching a, a lot of films and uh, I watched the new King Arthur film. Very, very good. Very, very... Uh, who directed it? Oh God. Um, what's his name? Married to Madonna. Guy Ritchie. Thank you. I know someone there was shouting it. Uh, I watched that. Really liked it. There's very, some really, really... There's a, a bit where the kid is talking about his life where he's growing up and that bit is very so Guy Ritchie. He could have taken that from any of the Guy Ritchie films and it was brilliant. Um, it's about two and Three, two and a quarter hours, two and a half hours long. They could have chopped out half an hour from the middle. Uh, half decent fight scene at the end. I don't like the fight scenes. I tend to do other stuff. And Kate, uh, yeah, Kate and maybe watch um, quite a few. Yeah, Kate maybe watch Harry Potter the other day. Oh, I like a bit of Harry Potter. The early ones are my favourite. To be honest with you, how mean? Kate is sat to the side of me. Kate, how long was the film? Two and a half hours. Honestly, it felt like four. <laughs> Oh, it really is. I, I'm sorry if there's anyone in here that likes Harry Potter. It's just not my bag. Sean's mum loves it, and Sean. In fact, we took her to the cinema to see a couple of them, maybe three or four of them. Cool, you make her sound like she's about five. Well, when she was, when they first came out, she's only 19. <laughs> so uh, they, they came out, what, 15 years ago, maybe? I don't know. I feel proper old now. I We're feel fucking 31. old. I'm, I'm am I am I thirty one? Yeah. Am I thirty two this year, Kate? Yeah. The, the the wonders of smoking, what it does to a person's brain, it's just fried. Um oh, the first one was in the two thousand and Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban. That wasn't the first one. They've told me lies. I want to go down to the bottom. The prison of the, the, pit, the prisoner of Buscapan. Yes. Films. Which the I Philosopher's know you... Stone was the first one. The Philosopher's Stone. And that was in 2001. Shit. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, here we go. Look, now, as soon as I do it, then she fucking rings me. Oh, the child's in in Ireland with my mother. Go on, take but... the phone call live on air. <laughs> what do you want? He's touching doing, himself. Doing a live podcast. There. <laughs> Don't! There, I'll break that little finger of yours off. There. The bomb yes. hole. I'm finished showing them to you now. Don't be rude. I was just talking was about you saying that we took you to see some of the Harry Potters. The first one came out in 2001, I think. I've read all the books twice. Yeah, she's read all the books twice. So uh, Gimli said, why are you taking her to see the films? I thought, well, she was about three or four. Yeah, November 2001, the first cut time one came out. You would have been three and a half. So we didn't yeah. take it. Oh, I liked you back then. You were nice. Not nice anymore. Are you coming back tomorrow? Yeah. You got a message for any of our Irish listeners that may be listening? The weather's shit. The weather's been shit here the whole time. Yeah, the weather's shit here too. And the weather's shit in Wales. You're not far from Gimli. In fact, you could probably go down to the coast. Did you hear what she Oi. said? Oi! <laughs> That's akin to racism. That should not be allowed. Yes, give me some stuff. It'll rock up and it'll, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll set you up a large one. 
Yeah, why, why did she come over? I'll, I'll roll her a fat He'll one. roll you a fat one. It doesn't mean he's going to roll your mother down the hill. No, <laughs> although we do live on a hill, so... He does live on a hill, so if you want to bring your mum, roll Moogie down the hill. <laughs> Does she seriously go through Merthyr Tidville? Yeah. Yes, it, they definitely did go through Merthyr Tidville. And she's coming through it tomorrow, is it? Yeah. What time's the boat land? Land. Land. What time's the pilot land the boat? At the boat port, landing at half twelve. Gimini will be there to welcome you back to British soil. Oh, seriously, yeah. pop in. He, it's always he's not going to pop in. She won't pop in. He's going to come up and see us. Why? Him and Kate are going to come and see us in the next couple of weeks. Oh. There he is. Ah, oh, I told him they can have your bed. The floor. He's cl Oh, fuck off, am I having the floor? <laughs> it's snug. You can get in between the two of them. You've got a king size. You're fucked. That's a bit wrong. <laughs> in fact, that's loads of shades of wrong. You what, dear? Did you hear what I said? Yes, you bought some plants. We're going to smuggle them into the country and hope we don't get pulled over. <laughs> I don't think there's uh, an import duty or any kind of smuggling things when it comes to plants, unless they're marijuana. Ah, <laughs> I'm your man for that. <laughs> Give me here's the man if you've got any yeah, yeah, yeah. plants. Drop them off on no, my you... way through. <laughs> now you is talking my language, fam. <laughs> oh, he says you're talking his language, fam. Right, I'm gonna have to go. Go and watch it on YouTube. Okay. We're live. Love Baba. What oh, so you'll be landing the, the boat plane at about twelve, so you'll be home about five or six. Yeah. Depending on how many piss breaks Moogie needs. Bad breaks. Not having any of that. Yes. Okay, love you. Love, bye-bye. Love you too. Bye. Wrong fucking number, wasn't it? I knew she'd ring as soon as I start doing this. Oh. So if you're in the chat box and Sean turns up, feel free to abuse her. No, oh. don't abuse her. Yes. Oh, Akeeb's there. Do you want to give it uh, our usual Akeeb? No, hello, Akeeb. Akeeb. Ah, uh, Usma. Usama. Zaka. He oh, sounds not like the... he should play for Reading. There she is, look. Oi, oi, Savaloi, she's there. <laughs> there she is. That, uh, her picture is, there's two of them because um, she was twins, but she ate the other one. Oh. Are you sure you didn't eat the other one and hide the evidence? Nom, 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 nom. No, if I did, I ate the wrong one. The other one's probably a nice mm. one. Um, uh, Squire Stew. Yes, this will be a podcast. I shall do this tomorrow at some point. Uh, who else is in there? Uh, Harry Kane and the Window Licker of Shite Heart Lane. That would be a, a wonderful film. Our very own Riot Raj is there. Two hours, 19 minutes. Cheers, Raj. Have the adoption papers. He, he, oh, he's going he's gonna to adopt Sham. He's, he he's can't adopt anymore. She's, she's 19 and trouble. Although you got, you got her through the worst years, so you might as well keep hold of her now. Now, these are the expensive years. You she's love it like that. She's off to uni in two months. Four years she, I'll have without her. Oh, big are joy. Are, are you subsidising that? I told her to get lost. I wouldn't subsidise it to go down oh, the chip shop you then didn't, the, the university. You didn't, you didn't say lost. I can guarantee you didn't say lost. I said I'll take her to Ikea to buy some stuff. That's guaranteed she's going to... Ikea? Well, she needs stuff for for storing all of her shit. And she, does, she likes to do medical experiments. Take, fucking take her down the pound shop. No, I want to get stuff from Ikea as well. Yeah, she does Different these wonderful... Class of people. You know, um, penicillin was in um, was discovered okay. by, by somebody because they left some stuff growing. And then yeah. they went, oh, what's this shit going? I'll tell you, if they went in Sean's room and had a look through there, they'd find all kinds of nonsense. So she is regularly doing... She's looking for a, um, a Nobel Peace Prize for medicine. Some of the shit she's growing in her room. It's a fucking disgrace. Oh, and is that where we've got to stay when we come over? Yeah, I've had the door shut for the last week, so Betty has an annoying habit of killing things and taking them in there. Um, but Sean's room smells so much usually that they uh, we don't know there's something dead in there. We just think can, it's her. Can I not just bring a tent and poo in the house? Yeah, and poo through uh, her window. Actually, not like in the house, just like obviously in the bathroom. They are ready for your signature. <laughs> she only wants to go in for Raj because he's, he's got a big telly. And he's got um, a hotline. What's one of those black cards that you can get for that chicken place where you just get all the food free? 
he's got, he's got, yeah, he's got one of those for for every food shop and the Ferrero Rocher main depot. They uh, they helicopter them in from Switzerland for him. Do you know what? I've just had a KFC. Have you? When was the last time you had a KFC, Danny? Fucking hell, that would have been a very very long time ago because they're franchises and they're usually run by scumbags who don't get the idea that washing your hands and not putting food on the floor is a good idea. So, I, oh, don't, I know, maybe no, ten years don't. ago. Well, they are. They're shit bags. No. No, you go and have a look at them. The people who run them, scumbags. No, I mean, if if you want to see me, like, throw up on the laptop. Yeah. No, you don't do that. Then you only just put it back. Oh, yeah, so no. one other thing, a couple of things for next season that's coming up. There's no more music at the begin at the end of podcasts uh, or radio shows because we've had one of our tracks. I think it was number 106 removed from SoundCloud, and we got an official warning because people are claiming. You know, like on YouTube, you can't have it. So they start to SoundCloud. We're fucked because we've got about 200 podcasts and 149 radio shows. What's that? Best part of 350. And each one of them has got music at the end of it. So we could That's... be in a lot of trouble. Oh, is, is that really? Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. They said three strikes and you're banned from SoundCloud. I think, well, what the fuck do we do? Three strikes? What? Yeah. And they've just pulled one up? Yeah. Wow. I think they're just trying to go, oh, that's our song on there. So we won't be using them anymore. And we no. can't go and delete them. Suppose you could just go and delete every single one of them. And they'll still be on our website now, wouldn't they, Dora? Yes, they will. And... Uh, Everyone, is, I sent everybody an individual private message on WhatsApp. Well, apart from you, the pirate, and Kate, because I didn't have to. Because, um, yeah, you speak to me, else. Kate's normally there anyway. Yeah, so I've asked them all nicely. So thank you very much for all the stuff you've done the last season. Are you with us for next season? And everyone has confirmed with a big fat yes. Lovely stuff. Dom so, said he'd, he'd rather not be on if we're going to be sweary. But I think, uh, yes. Wow. Because you know who's listening. I'd it would be on this fucking podcast then. <laughs> I don't want any of them on there. You put in the WhatsApp group. Oh, does anybody want to join us? Well, no. Don't want any of them to join us. We we were having a chat, weren't we, Danny, the other day in bed uh, over WhatsApp. And we hold were on, hold to... on. Rephrase that. We weren't in bed. Like, not, not to, obviously not together. You rolled like... over and nudged me. Oh, treacle. Tell <laughs> <laughs> you for your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, we, we were trying to outdo each other on the length of messages. And I, th- I think we carpented each other at about 5 minutes 17 apiece. Yeah, then you went 5.27 and I went 5.37. And you were going, oh, I've run out of things to say and give up. Yeah, I was, I was really stoned by that point, though. The, voice, the voicemails were just something else. But uh, I, I, And we can't play them either because technically no. shit got said. Yeah, well, I delete all my WhatsApps after once a week. Every Sunday, I delete them all. I don't want them clogging up my phone. I can all see the why. What? Yeah, yes, yeah. you do. I'm I'm on Android, and you can't delete. You can't have the don't save the media. So literally every photo that they put That's in. That's what I was going to say. WhatsApp group is I like, just, oh my god. I connected it to my phone, and. Uh, you click your phone to your laptop and then you do um, transfer over and it will transfer over everything and then delete everything and then you just put that file in the bin because I had three and a half thousand pictures. I don't even have the time to fucking go through it and delete the pictures. And it's normally of Chris posting selfies of himself with long hair. Oh, I just think he looks like a girl. Looking all bronzed and muscly now that he's going all fit. Yes, K-Man, it- still, still got my tooth issue. I'm going back on... First week of September, and I'm going to have a, a new tooth there and one at the bottom back left because I've got one missing. Oh, it is nice. Yeah, I'll be able to chew properly. So. I'll be able to swear properly because I can't say fuzz, fuzz, fuzzes at the moment. So well, people, you, well, you can't pronounce names in general, really. So start, I, I, start, I doubt it makes that much of a difference. I mean, I've barely don't, noticed. Don't start that. Uh, what? Uh, Oh, here we go. Here's a question from Ashley at Swiss Javi, which is X A B I. So I can say that. Yeah, um, this person, I don't know if it's a he or a she, because they've always one of those photo, those um, one of those um things where you take a photo when you mess your face up. So it looks a bit like Chris, who's had a, an allergic reaction to crab sticks. Um, where do you think our Deadwood players would end up if sold? What? What is their level? Debucci, Gibbs, etc., etc. Righto, then I'm going to go and get up our a list of um, 
our latest squad, and that'll be under football, 17-18. And uh, I think we're in agreement with the players that need to go. So, Matthew Dubuici. Yeah, he needs to go. 32 Maybe. years old, paid 12 million. For that 12 million, we've got 23 league games. Not his fault. Dismal. Dismal. He was linked with uh, Orcs Air, I think, but he didn't didn't go. It might have been Orcs Air or someone like that. I know he was at Bordeaux. Did, didn't, he, didn't he do a loan at Marseille or something like that? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Oh, yeah, and right. but the, he was it was going to go, but they, they're not matching his wages, and I think he's on seventy grand a week. Shit, Fucking hell! Thing. I know. Uh, Kieran Gibbs, do you think he should go? Yeah, I think Kieran Gibbs no longer no longer warrants a place in the squad. I think uh, Car- is it Carsonich? Yeah, yeah. Sal. Him. He likes to be called Sal. Sal. Well, let's just no S A. Oh, it's S-U-A-O. Oh, fuck it. Sal. So, Sal. Oh. It's James well, it's... from New York and Jersey and Boston. He That's his Korean name, I think. So, is it the same? Okay. So, he's played 230 games for us. Only 27. He was linked with a £10 million move to West Brom. And <laughs> that, that fell apart because <laughs> he, the Midlands is a shithole. Uh, uh, look what Matt Harris wrote. Um, I've got to make sure I get the right window. Matt Harris... <laughs> <laughs> Oi, now you cheeky monkey. He's a friend of mine. That's because yeah, others don't. That's because others don't get on with him. I do. So I think he's a jolly good chap. I think he's a fucking idiot. Uh, we need to get Danny nominated for a pundit of the year. Oh, cheers, Dan. Oh, I think Dan is on Twitter. I, I did. Name. I did see that um, someone uh, in the in the comments um, had actually said that you you should host the show. What I, th- show? I think you should. What this show? Why would doesn't look right now? Yeah, like the, the well, not, hosting not, right now. No, not, not this show. Yeah, but the podcast in general. You should do. Uh, you should host one. Yeah, that's a little bit like in the um the little Britain sketch where you got um Macy Boy. I want to be in the thing. I want to sing the theme tune. Do people know that I do absolutely everything at the moment? I don't need another fucking thing to do. I mean, I don't, without you lot, there wouldn't do, there'd be no point. But I mean, I do all the recording and all the editing and all the uploading and all the website stuff. I don't need another fucking thing to do. Plus, you've got you lot. Wouldn't work if you didn't host it. Wouldn't be as much fun. I mean, Jason hosts is good because the listeners get told to get fucked. I normally um, have my mid, mid fucking season meltdown a couple of weeks off. <laughs> Frank's foot. That looks like Father Christmas with Alzheimer's. <laughs> Danny looks like Father Christmas with Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, are people asking you about Lee Gunner? It's best that, I don't know. It's uh, I don't understand. You weren't in a good place when you went through that, your little mini breakdown, were you? I didn't mm. even know who he was. And no. uh, there, was, there was things said. You went a little bit, you went you went full Neuer, didn't you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, here yeah. we go. Something we can talk about. Uh Football fan says Colin the sock update. Colin the sock, he's still MIA. I have Is no he? clue. Yeah, no, ask Kate. Kate, where have you found Colin? I've never found Colin. I don't think Colin came to Wales with us, to be honest with you. No, I don't know. Well, ever since we've moved to Wales, I've not needed him. Is he rock hard, rest up against a wall somewhere? He, I don't know. He, I, I couldn't tell you. Oh dear. I, I really couldn't tell you. Oh, well, we were going through players, weren't we? Uh, per is going to retire when he's 33. Yeah. He'll be retiring at 33. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. And then he's running the Youth Academy. I was going to say he was going into the training, wasn't he? I think that's a good move. because It is, but he's going too soon. But the experience that he brings, I mean, Mm. he's played on the top level. He's won a World Cup. I mean, happy days. Who wouldn't want to be trained by that man? I think you, you... you look at the training regimes that they have, like in Germany, where they have their ex players come back and do coaching. I mean, if I'm a if I'm a young kid and I'm an Arsenal fan and I'm growing up, Jesus, if if I'm trained by the players that I idolised as a boy, uh, then I would properly take on board every single word that they say. I, I only can see it as a good thing. And who does the love her? Teaching you how to shoot. You'd have to oh, ignore him, wouldn't you? I walk up and pass five fucking yards, but... <laughs> uh, we can't be too many. He's, he's our top pre-season goal scorer, I think. Is he? And I my, don't know. Our, our, dog, our, our dog's named after Theo Walcott as well. So, I mean, if he does go up to Liverpool, I'm just going to call him Bob or something. 
<laughs> yeah, and uh, I get the feeling that Per isn't going to go and do a Wenger and be running the academy and working at Arsenal for the next 20 years. I bet it's a, a stepping stone after two or three years. He'll bugger off to Germany and because uh, he's a Werder Bremen boy, I think. Mm. Was it Werder Bremen, his first club? No, he's, he's supported Arsenal. There was there are pictures of him in an Arsenal shirt as an Epa. He, when he oh, came, he said he had been a fan. So Yeah, he was. Yeah, there's pictures of him. He went, He's he gangly, went, wasn't he? He was ever so gangly as a kid. It was all arms and legs. Uh, it's my dog named Useless Suck of Shit. No, he's called Theo. <laughs> I but think trust that's what me, they meant. Sometimes he is a useless suck of shit. Jack Wilshire, 25, 159 games. What's, what are we going to do with Jack? Personally, I'd keep him. Bye bye. No, I'd keep him because he's one of my favourite players. But yeah, when, he's, when you're on, what, 100, 105 grand a week and you're not going to. Mm. You're not going to get many games. I really did fuck all at Bournemouth last season. Thing is, I can't. I can't be critical of someone when when we've had players like Diaby before, and we've just chucked pound after pound at him for for what? Mm. I mean, I know Diaby. I mean, there will be people that disagree with me, but I thought technically Diaby was actually quite a good footballer. Yeah, um, that game against Liverpool, he was magnificent. Yeah, absolutely superb. Yeah, but uh, you can't. I'm, I'm sorry. Obviously, there is problem, uh, a problem with Jack. Um, if if an offer came in of fifteen million, I'd I'd snap the hand off. And I don't get me wrong, I, lo- I love Jack. Mm-hmm. I love Jack Wilshire. I love the fact that he loves Arsenal. But at the end of the day, having people that are passionate about the cause that that doesn't win you titles. I mean, look at Jenkinson. Would you play Jenkinson just because he's an Arsenal fan? No, sadly not. No, but I don't even put the yeah. cones out though. So, I wanted to say to you as well, and also people in the chat box as well. Who's heard about um, the Oxlade Chamberlain situation? I mean, what's what's going on there? Is it is it money or is it just playing time? Or I mean, I, I genuinely, I, I I've no clue, no clue what the well, deal with that one is. I was talking to someone someone on DM who's going to come on one time and have a chat about it. And he was saying that um, he was a steward at Arsenal and one of his friends is still a steward there and that his friend was talking to the, uh, to, um, the Ox's mum and she said he just wants away. He just wants to play regularly. And I think he said he was getting fed up of being at Arsenal. Because if you're a player of that well, much ability, you're going to be thinking, well, oh, we're not really doing much, are we? But in this modern day and age, to have won three FA Cups in four years... When you're, a, when you're a mid mm. mid league team like we are, it's the best you can hope for. Well, the thing is, though, with with Ox, he was getting regular game time towards the end of the season, and for me, he finished the season probably one of our best players. Mm. So, he was I mean, brilliant, and for England, twenty seven yeah, games, six goals on that right wing as well. I think him and and Bayer in as well. I mean, I thought they were superb, like the last five six games of the season. Why? Why would he not be getting a place in our squad? I mean, last season, 45 games, six goals. Season before that, 33 and two. He's approaching his 200th game for Arsenal. I mean, he's only not, scored 20 goals. I mean, the thing is, though, everyone said, I've, and I've, I've been off Twitter, but I have looked at Twitter to see what people are saying. Just to, just to keep in the Arsenal loop, obviously, doing this, you got it, haven't you? Mm. But um, I think a lot of people are saying that. It's about money, and you've had one good six months over a five-year career at the club. You shouldn't be holding the club to ransom. Very much like Nasri. You're making clicking noises. That'll annoy people listening to your headphones. I know. Sorry, I'm I'm playing with my Zippo. You're very bad. Will you put your Zippo away, sir? I know. Yes. Oh, well, I don't think anybody knows what it is. Maybe people just get fed up with Wenger now, and he's not going to do anything because I don't hold out much hope he's going to do much. No. I, I really don't. I think oh, we me, him and all the rest of the players will start the season with a clean sh- sheet slate. Are we doing a transfer deadline day this year? If you can be bothered to fucking organise it. Yeah. Did we do one last time? We did do one last yeah, we year. For the, yeah, yeah, we just didn't do the January one. It just gets a bit pointless, doesn't it? But again, it's not about because we're going to sign people. It's just uh, get our friends on and our listeners and people and give them a go. And uh, we've discovered a couple of gems doing that. And Jason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Welsh Justice came through on the deadline day, didn't he? And then he, he got did. he got given his chance. Did yeah. see and we're, we're uh, all about self promotion. Uh, who else have we got to look at? Um, Callan Chambers. Hmm. No, I oh, was see. 
I like Callum Chambers. Yeah. I think him and Rob Holding have been playing together, haven't they, for the for the England under whatever it is. Uh, and they've apparently been quite good. I know Rob spent so, no, a lot I of time keep... on the bench, but Callum, I think he played most of the games. Now, if there's one player I would like to see us fuck off this summer, and I'm going to get abuse for this probably, Gabriel. What a waste of time he is. He is fucking useless. Yeah, he'll have one good game and then he'll have three bad games. He can't have that but unless you he was a player that they bought on stats, wasn't it? When they yeah. all these Opta ratings and things like that, well, and they bought him. There's a stat company like Opta, and um, they were a separate company, and Arsenal bought them so no one else could use them, and that's how we uh, got Gabriel, I think. Yeah, he and what a shit signing he proved to be. That's probably true. Uh, Danny Welbeck, personally, I think he would get him out of the club as soon as possible. He's twenty twenty six now, seventeen goals in sixty nine in in the league. I think that is. And uh, is that in the league? Yeah, Matt that probably Harris. Is in the league. Matt Harris says, "Can I take the place of Chris?" <laughs> oh dear, why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Well, Chris is um, he's he's got big time. Sky Sports. Boy, ten Dio. Oi, Gabby is still learning English. Allow the process <laughs> to take place. <laughs> After three years, he's still learning English. Yeah. That's, it's it's that. awful. But then again, does Alexis Sanchez speak much English? I don't think he does, does he? Yeah, he just goes, he goes to the ringer. Money, 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 more money. Doggy need food. But is it know. about money or is it about Champions League football? Because there's a part the of me that League. says, oh, I can see why you'd want to be playing at the top level. And then the other half of me says, dude, you were the fucking useless fucker that got us into this situation. You can play <laughs> the season without Champions League and fucking get us out of it. How and you shut your fucking situation? mouth and take what you're given. Player. Yeah, no. Fucking take what you're given, sign a new contract yeah. and be a fucking hero at this club. There you go. Oh, okay. Uh, Jenkinson, I think he's got to go. He's been linked with uh, Crystal Palace or West Ham. No, West Ham, I think. Oh, it was Palace. And again, they wouldn't sign him because he's on, what, 35, 45 grand a week. And mm. when you put a player who not that long ago was on loan in the conference... When you're on 45 grand a week and you wouldn't have earned 45 grand a year, you're going to want to get it. Then he's got a contract up until the end of next season. So I reckon he, he might stay because he's not going to leave and take half a half wage cut. Perez. Yeah. Perez, yeah, he's gone. Last, we, I mean, we, can, we all know that Perez is gone, obviously. I think we've heard that Deportivo put in a bid for him, didn't they? I yeah, don't know. I think we're not going to get the 17 million back and they're not going to pay him the 70 grand a week that he's on. I, I wouldn't surprise me if we got any more than 10 million back. I, in fact, I'd be surprised if we got 10 million back for him. And again, I think out of all the players last season that I felt sorry for, he was the one that I thought deserved the game time. Yeah. Because I thought every time he played, I didn't have a bad word to say about him. I thought he was, in fact, some of the games that he played, he was absolutely superb. Champions um, League, Patrick, for fuck's sake. Yep. I'll give you his stats. Uh, and from, Danny uh, Welbeck, he'd be another one I'd fuck off as well. Yeah. I think Danny Welbeck is the most useless piece of shit ever. I mean, just <laughs> fucking hell. Absolutely fucking rubbish. The boy, I mean, I know he's given us great moments, like that goal against Man United, and that was truly fantastic. As as someone that started supporting like Arsenal in, in the in the nineties, early, early nineties, like well, late eighties. Um just Fantastic, yeah, hmm. yeah, I agree. I'd get him out. He's just gonna, he's never gonna do anything. He, he's not a striker, he's not a winger, he's not a play behind the striker player, although he can play in all those positions. Um, but I, but I, 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 it's not, not that he doesn't try, right? I mean, I, I mean he's he's a <laughs> He's not a bad footballer, and mm. he gives plenty. I mean, he he will if you put him in a team, he will run his socks off for ninety plus minutes. He's just God loves a trier, but Danny, <laughs> you're just not a goal scorer. Nor am I. I don't. I in fact, I don't. I don't even know. I mean, what is he as a player? What is he? What does Who he do is well? He? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> um, I'm going to say Ashley Maitland Niles. Uh, I, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't really know. You can hear the people other than... out your window shouting conservative, you tit. Oh. You missed it. Sorry. Do you think he should I'm go out? Through... 
I'm not, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I don't think um, I, I don't think there's really place for him in the team with Sal coming in, is there? Well, it's good to see that um, in the pre-season games that he's actually been playing in his best position, which is a winger. Um, he had a half-decent loan at Ipswich two seasons ago. And I think he needs another loan to a championship side. But then hopefully he'll be good. I mean, he's only 19. He's not 20 until the uh, end of August. Uh, we've done him. Uh, Chupa Chupa Apcom. Mm, oh, see, again, uh, we're, we're, we're falling on the bracket of do you give him another loan or do you just go, he's not good enough, off you go. We're worried about he's, him he's, going he's full the, ping pong. The Gnabry level. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like the... He could go on and be a half decent footballer, but at well, the moment, mm, not sure. Well, Gnabry did, didn't he? He fucked off to the uh, the the Youth World Cup and was one of the best players who was banging in goals for fun. And then that's when he decided, oh, I'm going to go off somewhere else. He's German, wanted mm. to go back to Germany now that he's got himself a loan, a move to Bayern Munich, and they've loaned him straight back out to some club who I can't remember. But magnificent move, uh, Frankie Cock. Frankie He's played quite Cole. well, hasn't he? No, don't like him. No. Respect Jason, the man Jason for the job. Like the, no, respect for the man for the job he did when when he was called back, and mm. he was fantastic when he when he did come back. I mean, he ticked every box. There was at one point when he was the first name on the team sheet. However, however, I think we can buy better. I think we should buy better. And I don't think he's good enough if we're seriously looking at trying to get Champions League football back. Oh, Just my dear. opinion. Um, well, a little bit of uh, heartbreaking information here for you about uh, Frankie Cock. I'm just going to go and make sure that if he's played 148 games, whether that's league or whether that's all competitions, Arsenal, yeah, 148 games. He is now ahead of the likes of, if I go here, he's played more games for Arsenal than Sol Campbell. Alex Song, Kieran Gibbs, Monreal, more than Abue, more than the Ox, oh. more than Santi, more than Carnu, more than Ozil, more than uh, Arteta. Oh, Nicky Bentner, Sylvan Viltord, Arshavin, Adibayor. <coughs> oh, he's played more than Overmars. Wow. Yes. Sad, isn't it? Oh, this just says that he's only played um, 98, this um, 11v11 one, so... He, I think Ozil might have played more than him by now. But, uh, yeah, some of them haven't. Mm. Oh, that's a, that's a long old list of players. They need to update that. It's not been updated in a while. Is, it, is, is that the lot, that is it? Um, I don't want to have too many windows open. My computer will explode. Uh, oh, Joel Campbell. Oh, another player. He's in the same as, uh, as Lucas Perez for me. Gives and gives and gives. Always running. And yep. Wenger hates him. I agree. I, I, the, um... He played against Swansea and he was absolutely unplayable on his day as a fantastic footballer. But mm. unfortunately, his day doesn't come often enough. That is sad For me, true. he's in the Theo Walcott bracket, I think. Technically, mm. brilliant footballer on his day. Yeah. Probably score your hat-trick or, or assist three goals. But when he has a bad game, oh. Shocking, but he's not Wenger's favourite, which is why Theo. But there again, Theo got 19 goals last season, so I, I like Theo. I'd like to see him do well. But it's nice to see him actually playing behind the main striker and doing all right, wasn't it? Yeah, Stefan yeah. Selby's put in. What about Alnene? And I have to say, I actually quite like Alnene. I see think... Alnene is the same way as I see the cock. He's uh, he's it's limited, but what he does is good, and I'd he's keep them both solid, solid, solid and dependable. Which I don't think the cock necessarily is everyone hates a solid cock everybody hates a solid cock uh, mark T- troy on on twitter oh, we've just followed him there you go uh he says any thoughts on arson Wenger's press conference after the match today um see how oh, did we play today yes we did did you not fucking watch it we lost we didn't lose yeah. <laughs> he says, seems like Sanchez will definitely be off at the end of the season. Um, I haven't seen the press conference. I didn't even know he played today. I've, I watched, got up, I watched the guy and recorded the Grand Prix. So I watched that. And then I went and fed the cats, <laughs> shaved my head, had a poop, had a, sh- had a bath, then had a shower. Frank Stacks, Welbeck couldn't finish on John Terry's mum. Oh, <laughs> oh, we lost 2-1 to Sevilla. Yes, we did. That was with our best team. 
Mm. Stephen and Donzi scored. I think he played for Portsmouth. He was it was a good goal. Him. It was a good goal as well, Danny. Oh, it, was a, it was a hell of a goal. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was oh, a good goal. Our starting lineup. Uh that looks like we could start the season. Oh, why is El Nenny playing in the centre back again? I know, it's fucking stupid. Fucking man. I bet we had the centre backs on the bench. I oh, Rob Holt. Only... Rob, I think um, he, he came out and said, Danny, that because he had lots of options in midfield, um, that the only possible way of him getting game time would be to stick him in at, at centre-back. So was, didn't do bad. I don't think he did a bad job. I don't think he was awful. Like someone put there, I think Oleni is a quality passer um, and he's a squad player. He is far better than Coquelin. Mm. And I think he is one of those that would, every time he plays, get his op- take his opportunity. So with um, today's game, it was uh, Ramsey and uh, Willock in central mid. How did Willock do? Um, did you watch it? I thought he was. I, yeah, I did. I uh. did. Uh, I thought he was all right, solid. Yeah. Um, I like the look of this Reese Nelson kid. I must say, I think yeah. he looks rather good. I, I don't think. Um, I don't think he's quite there with the first team just yet. Mm-hmm. But I think um, he could be due a quality lo- a loan out to a a, a top. Uh, not league one championships. Yeah, championship he's side. Not, if, not eighteen. Somewhere where he's going to get games. He's eighteen in December. <coughs> and last season, um, Reese oh. played. Got four goals in five games for the under 18s Six goals in sixteen games for the under twenty threes. Everyone's disagreeing with me there. Look, Willock was awful. Willock was woeful. Showed composure, but lacked physical physicality. Willock. Uh, Gunas in USA put Lacazette limped off injured. He is. Uh, we've seen something in the WhatsApp group. Uh, he's not injured. It's not. <laughs> oh, uh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> no, he's not injured. How uh, um, Bramall played? Where did he play? Um, left back. He's a left left back for the for the reserves. Mm. Was he any good? <sighs> he was playing non league football this time last season. I can't remember to be honest with you. Oh. So how about Welbeck playing in the hole with uh, Ozil? How did he do there? Is he? I'd, I'd have thought he'd have been a little bit like Theo. That's probably he the better place. Danny, for him. We've been through this. He couldn't finish his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move on from that. Then I'll go and I'll go and watch this so, later somehow. Jade, um, there was someone called Jade asked about what our thoughts on Wilshire were. Uh, was well, sorry. Uh, uh, I think he should be sold because I don't think that you can really employ players that you're only going to get a handful of games out of a season. And Danny likes him, don't you, mm-hmm. Danny? I'd I'd like to say to him, Jack, you you are brilliant. You should be the next Mister Arsenal. You we will pay you as you play, and uh, that is never going to happen in a million years. He's not going to go from a hundred grand a week to that. And remember, a couple of years ago, we were going, "Oh, Man City wanted him for thirty million," and now we're going, well, "If we get ten for him, we'll be happy." And he's only twenty-five. One of my favourite Arsenal players. He is going to go down to the likes of Charlie George and uh, um, Rowcastle players that that never quite made the as, as uh, much of their career at Arsenal as I wanted them to. Now, Rocky's was down because he got injured, um, got a knee injury and was flogged off to, to Leeds and then Chelsea and then Hull and then he went and played for Sabah in, I think, Malaysia. So that wasn't his fault. Um, Charlie George, uh, I've got his book, I've not read it, but Mr. Hollick and Steve were the ones to answer that. But I always thought he was another darling who, who it didn't work out for. Charlie Nicholas, Another quality player that never really lived up to it, and I think Jack's going to be in that kind of. Who is a is a good question, mm-hmm. and and we can put this in the chat box as well. And by all means, people who are listening, ask us questions. Not uh, just football, because I want to try and stump Gimli on something. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got my camera, and I shouldn't keep. I've got I've got achy back. I think my arthritis gets bad in the winter. Oh, don't don't piss in the <sighs> bottle again. You're literally the. There's only sixty seven people watching it now, but I could just see it going down and down and down and down. Yes. But, so, um, yeah, any questions on that? They can be silly. They can be anything. I'm okay, asking okay. what we're going to do about North Korea. That's coming up in a bit. Oh, yeah. You want to stick around for that answer. Um, so, Danny, yes, sticking on, on Arsenal, who was the one player that we sold that you really didn't want to say? If you could, uh, out of all... Right, the... I mean, Lucas Podolski. Yeah. Two players that to this day are two of my favourite players. I love them dearly. And Podolski was fucked over. His goal to game ratio was magnificent. And Arshvin didn't realise that you had to pay tax. And so he had the ump from day one. But you look at the games where he came in, he scored four. And I think another game he scored three. And there was one game where ben, uh, Wenger played Bentner and Arshvin up front together. And they were 
a thing of beauty. The only time they ever did it. But Wenger has the players' graveyard, which is left wing. You stick Lucas Prez out there, Joel Campbell out there, Arstrom was out there, Bentner was out there, Podolski was out there. That is a problem situation for Arsenal, which is why the Ox doesn't want to play there because he knows no sooner are you playing left wing when you shouldn't be, then you'll be fucked off out to a German second division team before you know it. How about you? Um, so yeah, my question, I haven't really thought about it. The one player, do you know what? I think the one player, if it was, if it was for, could have gone on and really, really done something. Frimpong. Alex Leb. No, Alex Leb. Uh, I yeah. really, really liked Alex Leb. I thought he was a good, solid footballer. He did if recently. Have one he back came out go, a few years ago, didn't he? Because he was um, went back and forth to loads of different clubs, and then he was loaned to Birmingham when I think the championship. And I think in an interview, he said he never should have left. He wished he'd have stayed. Uh, a lot of people are saying Barcelona. Ashley Cole, I, I know someone who uh, is mates with, with Darren Bent, and Darren Bent was on international duty with Ashley Cole, and uh, the the conversation, Mug, muggy little cunt, and the, the gist of it was, who who is a muggy little cunt? Oh, yeah. The gist of it was there was cliques and in the Arsenal dressing room. You had the French lot, then you had the African lot, and then he was sat there with the English lot, and it was him and the likes of Theo Walcott, who was about eight at the time, and he just had enough of it. He said, I'm not having it. And uh, Plus, it was the they'd had a verbal agreement for 55 grand, and when it came to doing the, the contract, they went, no, it's 50. And plus, he made the right move, didn't he? I suppose you look at it from a neutral point of view. Won the Champions League and won about three or four titles. No, two or three titles at Chelsea. Meanwhile, what did we do? Losing a League Cup final at Birmingham. Mm. No I mean, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't question that he did go on and, and further his career. And look what we got in place of him. William Gallas. Again, a brilliant footballer. Just, mm. just mentally... It's feeble. Yeah, yeah. Had a little cry at the Birmingham. Was it Birmingham? Oh, uh, and game after the game, what it down? It was either having a, a quick poo or he was having a mental breakdown. Yeah, that was. Was that the uh, same game as the Eduardo leg break? I think it, it might have been. Yeah. Yeah, Terrible. but I like Gallas was a hell of a player for France and for Chelsea, but he was a, a centre back. It just wasn't... seems like they go to Arsenal and don't try anymore. It's like they give up on life. <laughs> It's just the player's retirement home. Yeah, Let's like... have a look on Twitter and see. Um, so with uh, the press conference, Mark Troy, we d- we have no idea. Come we... come to Arsenal, be average and get paid handsomely <laughs> for it. Uh, the Gooners in the USA who have a new podcast out at the moment. It's one of the few podcasts I listen to now. I used to listen to one. If you go to their Twitter page, which is... Uh, Gooners in USA, then you can see Mike holding up Gooners in the USA sign and Arsenal podcast whilst watching some WWF. W- and I've seen it quite w- a few w- times. Yes, yeah, so they've got their, their new one. Um, where is it? Uh, um, it's number two, season two, episode two. And uh, I'm not sure who's on it. I've not had a listen to it yet, though. Uh, maybe he does say. Who's ah, on. I know. I think I know this one. Is it Gabriele Marcotti? Gab's not soiling himself and going to them lot, is he? Fuck off. I'm oh, not. No, He's no. too good for them. He is, he is someone who I have asked, and I am personal friends with Rafi. Marcotti but or Mar- Honigstein? Which one do you want about? No, Marcotti was on there. Gabriele Marcotti, I think. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, there's the Rafi or Honigstein. There's Gabriel Marcotti, who sounds American, who's Italian. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Rafi is the one that comes on our show. Yeah. He is. He got the ump with me, didn't he? Because I said, uh, Podolski's Polish. And yeah. he said, no, he's German. And I said, no, he's Polish. I said, my mate Steve is uh, knows him. I mean, doesn't know him. He lives in Poland. And Fingers. He sees himself as Polish, not fucking German. He went to school with Gabriele Marcotti. Who did? Send him our, send him our way. Who did? Oh, they... And they've, oh, Read the that's... chat box, you pleb. I'm looking through the Gooners' bloody tweets to see if they've put anything interesting in this failed to find a single fucking thing and uh, mr mr bob lex i agree nasri was a prick lesbian horse-faced cunt <laughs> no, no, uh, no 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 it was cash hungry horse-faced lesbian cunt yeah now look at him actually he went i think he's at sevilla he went on loan there and he was he had a pretty decent season and all oh, get sevilla and valencia no not valencia all the spanish teams i get them mixed up for some reason uh question here from tim afc 
Um, it says, can you see any development in philosophy or style? Pre-season is the place to work on these things. Same season with a different formation. Oh, did you... I, I, I didn't. I didn't hear. Uh, that's terrible. But because I'm stoned, I can't read and listen <laughs> at the same time. So, is there right, any, any development in our philosophy or style? Tim this asks. is the only thing that causes arguments between me and Kate. It's because when I when I have a spliff, like if I'm reading something, she's talking to me. It's like I, it, none of it registers. I'm just every everything rude, rude everything. Gimli looks like. Gollum from Lord of the Rings, Dad. My favourite Arsenal podcast is you lots. So thank you very much. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh uh, God! Proud Gooner wants to know who did we want to win Love Island? I hoped it would be like Christmas Island, and the Americans were going to nuke it to test out their stuff. Fuck to to be honest Island. with you, as long as at least ninety-five percent of them died while recording the show. Yeah. I hate all that. I watch I think, Big Brother's the only one I watch, and I only watch that because it angers me. I know. I, I like Celebrity Big Brother. So no, I, like I, I, see, I don't them. like. I don't know. I don't like the main one because no. I'm not interested in Fame people. hungry cunts. In fact, I'm not. I yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm. I don't like people as a rule. Mm. Like I've, I've warmed to you over time, and I would consider us friends. Taken five years, but, but it has, yeah, it has taken five years. No, that's <laughs> this is genuine as well. This is not <laughs> me being stupid, but I don't warm to people. I, it, I, as a rule, I don't like people. I think you, they, it's quite um, reciprocal on their behalf as well, isn't it? They don't like you. <laughs> like I'd, I'd look at a stranger and don't think, gloss what over that. You, what, what, no, what do you want from me? <laughs> Well, you know what I want. Why, why, why are you looking at me? What, what? How are you looking at me for ways to screw me over? And if they're Welsh and a pensioner, you'll fucking have them. <laughs> oh, I fucking will do. <laughs> right. So, uh, um, uh, I remember the first ever ABW after bar after dark after bark. See, my tooth missing's fucking me up. Uh, yes, that was a um, that was a thing, wasn't it? It was after one of the um, the transfer deadline days. I think it was number seven or eight, and we'd all lost the will to live. So yeah, that was a uh, Marcotti is the Italian with the American parent. Uh, oh, did he? He was uh, spent time in American college. Spoke to him a few times when he used to do football first in Europe on Talk Sport when age before Adrian Durham turned into a fucking bell end. Imagine if Twitter, Big Brother, Gimli, Danny, Jeff, Chris, Gunaholic, John Welsh, FK, um, Media Centro, EN. I don't know what that is, and Darren Arsenal. I don't know, Darren. I think I follow uh, him. Uh, yeah, no, no, Darren. Do you remember when we were doing the SBC days and we yeah. uh, we had that... Who uh, uh, gave us the uh, Gibbs shirt, the, the, the match-worn Gibbs shirt, and he mm. bought it. Um, oh, I know who he yeah, is. Well, I, I, I just don't know him. He's... Um, well, yeah, I, I I read his tweets. Hmm, I don't necessarily agree with everything that he says, but uh, I've got no I've got no issues with Darren. Not like that fucking muggy cunt with a baseball cap. <laughs> but we won't go down. We won't go. We won't. <sighs> we will not go down this route because. Uh, yeah. And, and I've start, I've officially started drinking. So uh, hello. <laughs> nanu nanu to so the fly pigeon. This is going downhill very, 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 very fast. Lay off of the good stuff, for fuck's sake. You haven't listened. Um, Look at this, guys. Can you guys confirm that Chris is the Arsenal governor? (laughs) Probably. (laughs) It means he's getting on another fucking podcast. He's not only doing 50 at the moment, not quite enough. Um, I thought he watches like 40 games a day as well. An hour. Uh, Not a day, sorry. Uh, 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 40 games of football a week, he once told me. I I was once, we were doing a show and he had it on, I think he had it on a laptop, on his TV and on his PC, watching three games at the same time whilst doing a show. But if you watch, if if you're watching Uh, three at the same time, that doesn't count as you've watched three games. That does, because that's cheating. You've watched (sighs) one, you could only watch one game of football at a time. And be truly invested in that game. Anything more than that, that, anything more than that is cheating. So he probably watches about 10 games a week. Uh, (laughs) Mike's saying that yesterday's pod was a a champagne one. Oh, he got a bottle of shit when I was, uh, because when I did their pod, um, they did it it on Skype, but they did it on video. I didn't have mine on, so I could just see him drinking the whole time, getting up, wandering around, looking for another drink. He had a bottle of champagne. I thought, fuck me, if you and him ever got together, you'd just drink whatever country you're in dry. 
Do you know what? It's a good job I haven't got a complex. I haven't been invited on anyone's podcast in like a year. If you wanted to go on Gooner and Schooners in the USA before they get too big and take over, like most American stuff, I'm sure they'd have you. Mm. They've had Jason for fuck's sake, so they can't be that big. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was on the last one of last season with uh, the, the, with the wonderful um, Chaz Nuki Brown. Oh, we do like a bit of Chaz. We do. He, he sent me a DM the other day saying he's looking forward to the new season. And I said, uh, you come in on. He said, hell yeah. Well, he I think he said yes. I think that we might have agreed to have him on in maybe more of a, a, a regular capacity. We, no, we've got too many. No, 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 no. Not, not. Are we, getting, are we getting exclusivity? Yeah, yeah, basically. We are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> he, he then, does, I don't agree with him. He said Sanchez. He didn't like him. Like you, you know, on um, like on those days where you've you've lined the podcast up, everyone's uh, in place, and about uh, two o'clock they start messaging you, going, oh, "I can't make tonight." Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> that's amazing. How long? But then again, they do do it all for free out of their own good time, yeah. and they get fuck all out of it. Apart and, from and, me and, moaning at them about their ETH members, you know who you are, Fife. <laughs> um, like, what <laughs> Fife? Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not putting any names out there, but Fife, yeah. um, like and uh, Simon, uh, and Raj, uh, right? Yeah, Raj. Uh, but Raj Jeff, is allowed Jeff, to because Jeff he's... did it four times in a month. He did. He missed them yes. all. Yes, he fucking oh, did. Oh, he's gone Billy Big Balls. Any, we made that man. Look what we've done. Well, he one was, of he them, was no one before we found him. One of them. He was <laughs> going out for dinner with his daughter over us. <laughs> Oh, my what that's disgraceful. Your fuck was that about? And I think it was her birthday. No, man no excuse. The, man takes the absolute piss. So, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna flog him off to uh, um, Gooners in the USA. They can have to deal with his stroppiness. And you know what he demands Matt every Harris, year? A packet of biscuits for coming on for giving us all those hours. He demands a packet of biscuits. Matt Matt Harris says that I should go on Gooner Talk. <laughs> I'd go on there. No, just just let you say that that. that just took a couple of seconds to register, didn't it? And uh, football fan has put Love Reverend Raj and PR, which is uh, Mr. Fife. Oh, Doesn't yeah. put Fife on there. They're very good. Um, uh, do you know, do you know from... like, like, like with kids, I know you shouldn't have favourites, but you know who my favourite is? Someone who always, always fills me full of cheer when we talk or when we have him on the podcast. Well, it's not, it's not fucking Jason then. No, no, fuck that. He's <laughs> down by the bottom. He fills you full of fear. He's 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 over by there. That's yeah. and he, he will get that. Trust leave me. me by. Leave me be. Leave me by there. Leave me by there. Um. No. Anyway, you're gonna have another guess. Um. Chris. No. I Why like not? Chris. Don't get me wrong. I like you. Uh, the Welsh. The other. The real Welsh. Oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, that's Chris. Now he's just uh, he's just telling me that uh, we're looking at some kid from uh, Benfica. Yeah, six weeks uh, old. Yeah, six, yeah, six weeks old and massive cock, apparently. I don't know what that's all about, but... I think that might be you, uh, are. You heard so, it here first. My, my favourite is that, well, I like them all. I, I, I like spending, could talk to all of them. I have a little special thing for Raj and uh, OG. Know? Raj and OG. Oh, I like OG. Oh, I do like OG. You can't pick any that you don't like, otherwise they wouldn't be here, would they? No. No, Apart I from can't Jason pick. Because he can't... said he'll kill us. Well, about a year ago, I could have picked Tom, but that's, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's that's uh, that's by the by. But anyway, um, it's uh, David. David is my favourite, and I, I that goes Tom. without saying. Every every I, I... there's there's amoebas on Mars that love Mr. Hollick. He's that David well known. Always... If I'm having it, there have been times where I've had a shit day and I've had to come and do a podcast. And I've rushed He's about. Always so cheery. And... And he's always so incredibly... Do you know what? I, honestly, he is the... I want to get to where he is by smoking weed because he is that chilled out. Like, um, zero Steve. fucks. Steve? Love, love, uh, <laughs> go on. Go on. No, no, go on. Love David. Uh, Steve has put a thing in the WhatsApp group. It's a screen grab of his Twitter feed. It says... Uh, Whores of yore, three women in a bathhouse, and there's one fat woman leaning over, sticking her finger up the other one's bum, and the next one is a bird cat wonderland after dark, and he's put when when tweets a line. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! 
don't know. Steve's put that in podcast news. Yeah, no, I've just seen that. Ellis they is putting, keep that's, that's putting things thing. in the wrong groups, don't they? We're not, I'm not having any of it. It, um, doesn't, it, does, it doesn't bother me because I'll just mute it. Right. There's a, No, they're not allowed to put stuff in there. That's only for news. Is, is that, did, did you make that rule official, did you? Yeah, I've told them off. That's how uh, I think uh, Dom's back in that group. So we can't, Dom, Dom, yeah, it's just because it's news, isn't it? We put all the new lot in there. Um, so I'm going to go through some of this stuff. Uh, Garson and Governor, we've done um, uh, yesterday. Is, no, that's there. Uh, Carling, what a shit beer. No, not interested in that. Bobby, Andy, there will definitely be. Reach out to him. He's got time to kill Friday afternoon. Uh, a football fan loves Raj and Fife. Ah, Matt Harris, did you put Carl? Hold on, I'm going to read that to myself first. Oh, hold Oh, yeah, we, don't, uh, we only put. I mean, yeah, we, we could be on a very sticky wicket if you read the one that I think you're going to read. Yeah, Carl is only there because equality purposes, because we didn't have enough people who worked for London Underground. So, yeah, we had no choice. We could have had it's the choice either someone from the Underground or three who worked on the buses. Mm. Before we, 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 went, we went deep for that one. And yeah. Carl is my official representative when I'm not around on the radio show because we have exactly the same thoughts. Mm. Uh, me and John does. Uh, the people on not just uh, uh, what's something that Josh for? What are you bringing that ginger tit up for? Uh, Carl's great, I agree with most of what he says. Well, there you go, King, for a day. That's right, because Carl is very, so very who, good. Uh, for, from the people that's in here, who are your favorite ABW members? And if you could fuck one off, which one would you fuck off? <laughs> are you gonna make love to one? That's what you're gonna say. Well, we're not doing fucking snog marry a void with uh, actually yes. yes we could. yes we could because I've got one that I'd fucking marry although I wouldn't want to snog anyone that's left. Uh, about about um, oh. sell loan. <laughs> what could be the other one? Yeah, so if you had a team, you could uh, you could sell one of us, you could loan one of us, and you could buy one of us. <laughs> that's not working, is it? No, 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 it's not working. No. Uh, it's football fan says, Gav from She War is class. He is, but he's a naughty boy. He keeps saying stuff on Twitter and being a bit of a tit, but he does it on purpose because that's what Gav does. So we go, oh, we're having Gav on. And then he goes and does something like, I don't know, says all Scottish people. I like people Gav. I have, I have a lot of time. For, I, have a, I have only good things to say about Gav. Honestly, I know there's a lot of people that would say otherwise. Yeah. He does none, it on none purpose, of which, though. None of, none of which. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh. But personally, me, I, I can speak for me and Danny yeah. when I say Gav is probably one of the soundest people yeah. that we he's, speak he's, to when we're on the call. Don't we, have, don't we have a laugh? Yeah, and he said ABW yeah, with us. But sometimes yeah. he, does, he does tweak the nipples of Twitter just to get a reaction out of people. And then, Yes, um, Craig Murphy says he likes the, he, um, all the ABW crew are sound, like good blokes, don't agree with what they say in brackets, especially Jeff on Wenger. Even Jeff doesn't agree with Jeff on Wenger. Oh, uh, a keeper, a keeper. I don't have a favourite, but it's Kate. <laughs> oh, and she's here, so she heard that. Kate, go on, you can say hello. Hi, Akeeb, you're my favourite too. Oh, bless Keep you. your fucking hands off of her, I'll break your legs. She's got real big hands. Powers the public service. But thank you, Akeem. Boys put Chris and Chris. <laughs> Stefan, a little harsh on Josh. Well, he's ginger. It's his own fault. Uh, Akeem missed an open fucking goal on um, FIFA. Absolutely disgusting. Threw on goal and then puts it wide like a big fucking minge. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> I'm just reading some of these things. Uh, sell, loan, sign on. Uh, Jason, loan. John, buy. Goonaholic, something. Don't know. That's from Football Fan. Uh, oh, here you go. Steph likes Chaz. Yeah, Chaz is good. We like Chaz. Yes. We have only got good things to say about Chaz as well. Oscar's put sell Gimli. He's gone for half a season anyway. I am the Jack Wilshire for the podcast. So he's some disaster or another. He decides, I can't do it anymore. I've had enough. I need to lay down. <laughs> all right. All right. So we've got Matt Harris has replied, I'd snog Kate because she's the only bird, obviously. I'd marry Chris because I'd never see him because he would always be in the cave watching 20 games a day and I'd avoid Jazz when he's the star of Fake Taxi. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, that's fucking brilliant. Uh, Stefan's put up the ABW FIFA highlights earlier. And uh, Akeem's put, fuck you, Stefan. Yes, because uh, Akeem's up, gets put through on goal. He's running the right-hand side of goal and went to put it in an empty goal because their goalkeeper's gone wanders. And he managed to put it wide of the far left post because he's a fucking idiot. Fake Uber taxi. Lucky <laughs> jubbly. Right, we've yeah. got some uh, a few other questions that I wrote down. Oh, okay. should, you, should you do the book competition, the giveaway? Yeah, well, how, how do we go about doing that? Right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people have sent in their their guesstimations of how many animals we have. Now, at the time, at the end of last season, we need to look, we need to work out who's got what. Now, I know um, Chris has two. I've got four. Um, Jeff has four. I've um, now got. Oh, at the end of last, at the end of the last pod, which was well, at, May. At the end of the last pod, three. We have a little thinking count. Three what? Three. Well, I had three dogs. And how many cats? Eleven. So that's fourteen. Yeah. See, and that is three dash eleven. Do, do you class puppies with that as well? Yeah. No, no, not if they're still inside the mother. No. No, they were. They were. They were born at the end. Of, they were here the, for the. Last season podcast, I'm sure they were. No, they hadn't been born. Oh, maybe they had. I don't know. Yes, they had. If they had, you can add another ten to it. That's fucking terrible, isn't it? Fourteen dogs and eleven cats, nine fish tanks. Fuck. So that is twenty-five for Gimli. Um, who else is there? Five doesn't have any. Um, uh, Jason doesn't have any. Um, nor does the American Jason. Oh, actually. Jeff, can I, OG has two cats, and come on, yeah, two, two, he has two white cats, doesn't he? Yeah, Raj I, has. I, Chris Raj has, has got. Yeah, Raj has got two cats. So's Chris. Yeah, I've put Chris down. Okay. Um, so Simon Five hasn't has, got any animals. No, no, I don't think Simon has. No. Uh, Mr. Hollick. Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. He strikes oh. me as a dog man. He does, yes, does seem as a dog man. He does man. strike me as a Labrador, a Labrador man. Yeah. Piper's so, as a Labrador. What I'm going to do... Is for, I'm, I'm going to go to Not our website. I'm going to our website, and then I'm going to go and have a look at the ABW team, and then I'm going to go through them and just see who I've forgotten. You still there? Yeah, no, I'm here. No, oh, sometimes I've my, never my, been more here. So we've done that, 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 that. Oh, Dom. Now, Dom has a thing for skunks, but I don't think he has any other Jeff. Skunks? Yeah, he's got his thing skunks. Up. Skunks. Steve. Steve doesn't have any. I'm sure Steve. I think he looks, after, sure? no, he looks after a dog every now and then, but it's not his. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't count if it's not. If it's not J- JW? Uh, he's got crabs, but I don't think they count. Yeah, guys, you've got crabs, but you can't count that up. Hundreds. Carl, I don't know. Ellis and Josh. Hmm. I've added Josh to our website, and I've put, he is only here to meet EU ginger quota. <laughs> thing is, the thing is, though, we can't really do it officially if we don't actually officially know the numbers. And we could do it off of our head, but then surely we'd just be picking. You might as well save this for the first podcast of the season. Yeah. Tell people now, if they want to have a guess, yeah. to DM us. So okay. how, how were they voting? Or hey, just, just, just DM the podcast account, or you can email us at, it is at birdcampwonderland at gmail.co.uk, or is it gmail.com? No, it's probably gmail.com. Uh, and is it is it uh, signed or unsigned? Oh, there's three it... signed. If you live outside of the UK, let us know because you're having to pay for postage because we're not paying nine pound to post a bloody book to out of Mongolia. <laughs> so at the moment, Mark Blondell, he's um, he said he'll pay for his. Dougie Cazorla said he'll pay for his, and Peter Kennedy lives in Australia and he'll pay for the postage on his. So what we want you to know is um, how many. Pets, only cats and dogs. That's the whole of ABW got. And then the tiebreaker is you break that down into cats and dogs, of which only half of the people have bothered doing. Okay, that you yeah. you see, you made that more complicated. Well, is that because I'm stoned? Yes, it is that seems stoned. more complicated. Yeah, but because that seems that just seemed really really complicated the way but you now put some it. of those people like we've had one. The lowest we've had is twenty three from um, Rob, and. 
he actually did say 32 the first time they changed it to 23 so that's the lowest we've got and uh well, if people are listening carefully that means we've got a nine that they don't want to see. yeah see all the people nine. here have got a distinct advantage yes there you go right? because all you've got to do is listen back add up what we've said and who's got what and you're going to yeah. be close yeah. and it is a signed tony adams book you're playing for yeah sent to us by so the lovely it's not publishers just a piece of shit. yes exactly who are they danny give them i don't know would they listen to this god jesus <laughs> maybe they might yeah, one well, he's an arsenal fan is he yeah i'm just gonna go and have would a look at the... would they listen to this oh okay. uh, it's so from that's uh from richard and also there was was it mark I'm just looking at the email now that I'd saved, and uh, it's from the people who make the books. It was uh, Richard and Richard and uh, Tim. Rich Richard. Yeah, Richard Tim. and Tim. And it Richard is the, and... the publishers of the book. Oh, it's Simon and Schuster, the best publishers of books there has ever been. So okay, get so on that. Go and buy all their books. And if you don't win, go out and buy it anyway. Go and buy it anyway, because they give I... us four and uh, one of them was for me and i said i'll make a donation to i said i put 20 quid to charity if i can have a tony adams signed one so they said yes actually I was, yeah i did want to sign one and uh, then I ended up I sending got a one. no you smell so you, you can't read you just lick all the pages i know yes so a question um mm. how do we fix north korea gimli oh how do we fix north korea I mean, they might be listening Trump is probably tweeting away whilst having a shit, listening uh, and like wondering. In, if you were to look inside my mind now at that question, you would see yeah. like a little cartoon chicken going. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, how do you fix I don't know. Do you know what the problem with it is? I, I, I haven't got a fucking clue. Politics they don't like anyone. Me, to be honest. They he's don't like funny, anyone. He's got a funny haircut and he's got the right old ump about it. Oh, is that that Kim Jong old boy? Yeah. He has got a fucking dodgy barnet, though, hasn't he? I think maybe we could fix it if we got Vidal Sassoon to nip up there. Give him, a, I don't know, give him, model him on Chris's hair. Uh, do you know give what, actually, do you know what I do? Curls. Do, you know, what? do you know what I'd do? I'd employ uh, Britain's best weapon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd send Davies over for, for peace talks. <laughs> right now, you. Boy, you <laughs> We're going to get this resolved, okay? Oh, My donkey's yeah. got fleas. <laughs> but see, the thing is, right, I, I don't know if we have any Welsh people listening to this, and I'm sure that we will have Welsh people listen to this. But they're like kind of a bit like, no, I'm not going to say that. But that, let's just say mm. uh, they like fireworks. Like I've never, ever been to a place like where we grew up in Oxford, posh area, you would have thought people with money, you know, they, they would have lots of fireworks. Like, oh no, if I wanted to go and watch a firework display, I would watch a, fire, a Welsh firework display. I've never seen anything like it. I was going to liken them to magpies because they like banging poppy things and shiny Everybody things. Loves fireworks. Yeah, but I mean, I, I love fireworks. K-Man knows. But, he says, uh, get Dennis Rodman back over. Hmm. Someone asked so, a good question for you. King for a day. Question: Do you believe in the simulation theory? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, at least, I mean, if I'm going to be funny, at least ask me stuff that I understand. I don't fucking know. That's simulation well theory is that um, everything we are existing and seeing and feeling, we are all in a computer program. It's a whole simulation. And recently, they've done they've done some kind of genetic work on something somehow, and they found that they've tried they've broke it down all the way to its. Um, base components and i think it was i said there's some kind of computer code in there the stuff that is exactly the same as computer code and they think that everything we are, um, uh, are doing is a, a simulation we are in a simulation so the dog shit on the bedroom floor this morning mm -hmm. that i trod in yeah right that was a simulation what was the point Matrix. Why do you come a bit the easiest way to explain to it is someone? well i wouldn't have a dog if i had a dog that shit on the floor I'd Fucking kill it. Well, they, Our cats that used to piss when they were kittens, they used to piss in the corner over there. Every time we saw one do it, get it up, rub its face in it and throw it out the door. They don't do it anymore. Well, that's nice. I, I hope the RSPCA aren't tuning in. That's what and, That's uh, what Alan Titchmarsh told me to do. You only have to do it to him two or three times and they'll never do it again. Alan Titchmarsh was a kiddie fiddler. I have that on good authority. No, Alan Titchmarsh the gardener. I think oh, you think there's someone no, else you I, 
I thought you meant no, a different one. Like, so you've just gone and besmirched. Now you have to legally take that back. Say so Alan Titchmarsh is not a paedophile. Uh, uh, Alan Titchmarsh is not a paedophile, and yeah. he has never touched a child. Yes. There, there, or there in the bumhole. Yes. And uh, you may be very stoned. How about this one from Oscar Arias? He says, "Is the Earth flat?" Um, of course it's not. Do you know? Do you understand the theory of the flat Earth? Uh, not really. All I know is I watched a Top Gear once where they had a, a long stretch of road and you could see the curvature of the Earth on it. Job done. Happy days. <laughs> Imagine if you had a dinner plate. They reckon. Most of. In fact, the the yeah. the, the um the symbol for NATO. Is a flat Earth. I think it's NATO, and uh, so you get a dinner plate, and the North Pole is in the middle, and the South yeah. Pole is like a pile of rice around the outside of it, and everything else is in the middle. There you go. Lovely. Uh, that is the wealth of your knowledge. And uh, Matt Harris again must be an Oxford boy. South Park fireworks game. I know. Yes, I do know. I do know. Kate knows as well. I hate Did South you know? Park. Uh, no, not not. Not that, not, no. not that. There's a place in Oxford called South Park. Where, whereabouts in Oxford are you from, Matt Harris? You said that a little bit louder as if he's going to reply. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 yeah, but anyway. anyway. Yeah, um, how about the, you know, I was saying to you before, you need something a little special for behind you on your wall. The man who did those wonderful drawings, 73295, a little bit north of me, he said, I finished all the drawings, Danny, ready to roll now, and he's going to be doing limited edition prints. And I will buy one and uh, put it on my wall. The only thing uh, that uh, you would do to it at the moment, because you know on Avenal Road, is it Avenal Road? It's down at a slope like that, isn't it? Yeah. He's included the slope in the building. I'm not sure I like that. I think I'd rather have the building square. So I suppose if you want it to look realistic or not, that's the only thing that, uh, that I would... Uh, I sent Gimli a photo of it. You liked it, didn't you? I did like it. I did. It's Cowley. Very, very good. Did, did you want to print it up and colour it in? Yeah. Kate yeah. does the old paint by numbers, doesn't you, darling? I haven't done one for ages. She hasn't done one for ages. Not allowed. Not allowed any crayons anymore. No. Because I chew them. I, just, I chew them. Like, they don't allow me on public transport anymore because right. I lick the windows. That's what they're there for. How else are you going to keep them clean? Exactly. No, the re I, I don't actually... Oh. What? Oh. What have you Terrible. done? Oh, yeah. just a bit of acid. A bit of acid. Excellent. Oh, oh, me angina. That's because you... <laughs> Kate, get me, get me Zantac. Do you love old Greg? Hey, get me Zantac, I've Kate. I've angina. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was talking about flat earth and moon. Did we land on the moon? Uh, did, we, did we land on the moon? Um, um, yeah. Did we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think we did. So how do you explain that in some of the photos, the crosshairs are behind the astronauts? No crosshairs and on the front of the, a camera. They should be on top of everything. Some were behind the, the pictures. Isn't that something to do with they, the flag that they placed was flying, and if it was actually the moon, there would be no wind? There's no like atmosphere onto the moon. Yeah. Well, they said this because there was wire in it, and uh, if you give it a little knock, it'll wobble for ages. Um. Mm. How about this one from Mr. Boblex? Uh, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. I don't mind it. I had, I had, Definitely uh, not. Friday night, we went to uh, Chili Bite in Huntingdon. Shazzy, my mate, he owns it. And uh, George, he delivered it. And uh, we all had uh, pizzas and kebabs. And seven hours later, I shit myself inside out. Definitely, definitely not, I'm though. But, not I mean, pine, pineapple on a pizza is... What do you have on a pizza topping, then, while what? you think about it? I have... Thin base, well done. And I have tuna, jalapenos, mushrooms, sweet corn, and extra cheese. I wouldn't go anywhere else other than Domino's Pizza. Well, not when they're 45 a quid a fucking pizza, Robin Fox. Yeah, no, I know. But but it's still that. the best If they made those for nine ninety nine, any size you can, any size you want, they'd sell those. But no, they're greedy fucks who want 25 quid a pizza so they can fuck themselves. Unless they want to sponsor us, then only eat Domino. Are we looking for sponsorship this year? Not really, no. We're just going to rely on these mugs to pay us lots of money that we can invest on um, horses again like we did last year. Is that horse that we put it all on, finished running yet? No, we had to put it down. Oh, Lord Jesus. No, we are nearly ran out of money. I think we're down we, to... Um, we had a, a silent backer in Joey Barton. Yeah. 
Give us some um, great tips. He did. He gave yeah. us some great tips. He did. Oh, is any of this libelous? No, no, because it's all lies. Is it? Yeah. It's entertainment. Okay. I've decided that as we're a podcast and we're going to, if we class it as entertainment, then we can make anything up because entertainment doesn't have to be real, does it? Okay. So, for, so <laughs> no, from, don't, don't just, do it. <laughs> just from what we're doing now, everything that's happened up yeah. to now yeah. and carries on happening yeah. is for entertainment purposes. Entertainment purposes, purposes only. Like the WWE of podcasting. Or WWF. We're really here. But we, yeah. everything's not real. Let's have a look through some more of the questions. Um, uh, well, well, Crowley original, but moved on to. Oh, did you did you see what Matt replied with? Uh, no. Crowley originally, but moved on to Stan Sandford three years ago. Cowley. Now I tell you what, and he'll agree with me. Cowley is rough. Is it worse rough. than Murtha? Oh, poor. that's I, not I, possible. No, it's probably on a. No, no, it's better than Murtha. It is, yeah. It's, it's not really hard, than, isn't it? It's better than Murtha. Huntington's turning um, into a shithole. That's the next village over, or town over. Don't go there. Shithole. No, um, posted a shit to someone. Named, no, I've got someone uh, listens to the podcast from Huntington. Um, what? I'm sending, paying for a shirt tomorrow. I don't want people um, living near me. I grew up in Huntington. Norfolk Road, if anyone's listening, then Bevan Close. And I left there no, in no, I'm not going to give you... I'm not no, going to give his address out. No. no. I didn't think, I didn't, no, I didn't think you were going to. Um, here we go. One from Dan Batch. Would you rather be invisible or be able to read minds? Do you say, really say it again. I... Invisible or read minds from Dan Batch. Invisible or read minds. Invisible or read minds. Invisible. Who wouldn't want to be invisible? The shit that I could do. Wow. I don't want to do anything. I, I think I'd read minds, but only if I have the ability to not read minds. Because imagine if I was in the same room as Gimli and I was being able to read his mind. I mean, it'd be like trying to tune in a 1972 black and white portable TV most of the time. You're just going to get no sense. Um, to be honest with you, it's like if, if you looked inside my mind, most of the time it's just white noise. Well, uh, Mike says, Baconator or Big Mac? Well, I'd have the don't even know what a Baconator is. A Big Mac. Uh, has... It's something that they get in America. Oh, no, see, I can cover this one yeah, because cool. I haven't got an Amazon Fire Stick that you can get all the American channels on to know <laughs> that the Baconator yeah. is something that Americans can eat, and it's like a bacon cheeseburger. Oh, that sounds I nice. But, but I, Americans... I don't know that. No. Why don't you know it? Uh, because I haven't illegally got a Kindle Entertainment stick, purposes only, thing. people. Remember that. Uh, yeah, I think... Remember, none of this is real. And if you've seen me sprinkle anything green, I can assure you it is grass Shaking clippings. Back to put the freshness back. That's what it is. Um, well, some of that. I take it it's American bacon because those tits don't know how to do bacon. They just got this streaky shit. But I, I've noticed over, over there, they've got applewood smoked bacon. And over here, we've got Birchwood smoked bacon. So what the fuck's that all about? And they're both McDonald's. What? So... You shut up. Yeah. When I go to McDonald's, um, I don't now because there's like 2,000 calories per burger. But for years, I would go there and I'd have two cheese quarter pounders, meat well done, cheese and the tomato sauce and no fucking vegetables. And if I even let it see a gherkin, I'll go in there and strangle them. But now I don't have any of them. I'm on 1,500 calories a day. Right, Matt Harris, serious question. If two ABW members had to re reincarnate that famous Titanic drawing scene, who would you pick to do it? Jason and Chris. Because Chris's <laughs> long hair would flow lovely in the wind. Over his now muscular breasts. <laughs> and I, I think with Jason's manly grip, there would be absolutely no chance that uh, Chris Winslet would fall in the water. No. Uh, in fact, I, I, I honestly... If Jason was on Titanic when it sank, he'd just go, right, Chris, on the back, we're fucking swimming. <laughs> and they would have made it. I'm fucking without a shadow of a doubt. I've met Jason. He is a double R bastard. They would have, they'd, have said, they'd have gone, iceberg, right ahead. Call the yeah. Welshman. And then Jason would have run down the front of the ship and just gone, wallop. No, 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 gone. he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He'd have gone, fucking give it to me, will you, you fucking cuss. And then headbutt it. 
<laughs> and it would just fall into pieces and then oh. off, off, off they would go and history would be rewritten forever. I might to get to meet some of ABW because they're all meeting up uh, when Dom is coming over and uh, I'm going to get Sexy Frank. I'm going to ask him on the day if he can drive us down, me and Sean in the Sharan because it's going to take... So how the... come... Hold on. How come... Well, how come... So your daughter mm. is going to be going through the town that I live. She yes. can't pop in, right? She doesn't, doesn't like you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no more and than that to it. We've arranged to meet, yeah. and I'm driving to you. Yeah. Yet Dom comes over. Oh, I'll just speak to fucking sexy Frank. Yeah. Get him to drive. Fuck you. Dom's lovely. Drive He's to cuddly. Me. Dom isn't going to try and sexually abuse me at any point during the. Hey, actually, if he thinks I was a lady, he might try and touch me inappropriately. He would. The bomb yeah, hole. everyone else is going to be there. I couldn't make it last time. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it this time because I've got to ask. Frank doesn't like football. But driving, I used to get in the Merc. I've got the Merc back now, by the way, people. Are you, are you driving it? No, I've had the hand controls taken off the Merc. It's on eBay at the moment for 19 grand if anybody wants it. So, and so is George's car. Sean's mum's got a Fiesta. It's on there for 17.50 if anybody likes a nice Ford Fiesta 1.6 auto. No careful owners. <laughs> no careful owners, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so it's a long old drive to London from here. It's about an hour and a half, and I don't really want to be stuck in that fucking van. Although it's a nice van, bumping up and down in the back of it, like a, some kind of fucking and special day out the seaside. Think, how long do you think the drive is to you then, fuck that? Hold on. I'm got my tablet now. It's about five hours. I've driven to Wales many times for cup finals. Well, again, I, I did break some speed limits on the way there. Right, so while you're minging on about that, um, K-Man says, which Game of Thrones character do you like the most? I don't um, watch it. <laughs> racist. Um, I like I like the Hound, but I don't trust him because he's got daddy issues. I like Sir, Sir Matey Boy, Sir Sister Shagger. I think he's quite cool. And I like uh, the Dwarf Lannister. I've, I've watched the entire thing. I can't remember their names. But my favourite character would have been the ginger prostitute with the boobs. Oh, hello, cheeky. She's a little, there's, there's a little bit saucy. Three uh, hours, ten minutes. What? Does, your bloody little pink car. It's not fucking pink, it's orange. Get it right. Whatever. Um, Usama, chicken fried rice or Indo pack biryani? Oh, chicken fried rice. But I wouldn't. I've had, um, I would go beef fried rice or beef I chow mein. I would have to say to them, I'd go in there and go, look, sunshine, I want you to go and get me some chicken. I want to see you cook the chicken properly. I only want the white bits. I don't want any fucking arseholes, ear holes or eye holes in it. Because when you get chicken fried rice, you tend to get the shitty bits in there. Even though the lovely people at Sinter in God Manchester do the most wonderful um, Chinese Malaysian food, it's all arseholes and ear holes in the, mixed in with the rice. So mm. if they're going to cook it properly, I'd have the I'd have any meat, meat as long meal as long as it's cooked properly, and no fucking garlic or onions in it. No, uh, where Mr. Bob Lex meat and loads of it, also jalapenos as well. Oh, good. God, that just moved down the entire fucking. Do you know, page. I will say something about the Chinese though. They do make barbecue sauce very nice. They do good barbecue sauce. I think like, even the Americans, like, and uh, barbecue sauce is supposed to be their thing, isn't it? I make my own sauce at the moment. I get a teaspoon of um, French mustard seeds and I get um, two tablespoons of brown, um, brown sugar of, uh, of um, Texas um, jalapeno sauce. Then I get some habanero sauce and then I get this other one. I can't remember of it. And I mix it all up. So you get about eight tablespoons and I get my fresh turkey and I marinate it for about an hour. And then I whack it in the oven on a griddle. And uh, that, yeah, I have that four, four or five times a week. Because uh, turkey breast has fuck all badness and it's all protein. Right. Uh, 73 asked, says... Go on. A best, uh, I was going to say, Akib uh, has asked the best takeaway. Chinese by a million miles. If I wish it was Chinese. If the dirty cunts would wash their hands and... Uh, Unfortunately, Shazzy is a lovely bloke, but he, he employs these people from Peterborough that aren't from this country, and they're quite used Dad. to having chicken laying on the floor for a week. And the amount of times I've gone, Shazzy, for fuck's sake, what's this? The fucking meat is manky. I'd have curry. I could live on curry every single fucking day if they used fresh, decent white bits of meat, but they don't. Oh. And it's manky, and it gives me the shits. That's they don't you get big hot. chunks of it, and they don't cook it properly either. 
that's a horrible question. Would you rather drink an ounce of your own semen or somebody else's mucus? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't oh. ask stupid fucking questions like that. We, no, I like stupid questions oh, like that. Oh, you answer that's that one. Rim. I'm, not, I'm not answering it. It's Usama. just grim. Usama Those says, the... uh, apple pie or chocolate cake? Oh, chocolate cake. I, I, I have a thing at the moment. Anna and my mum, they make me pear pie because apples are too bitter. So they make me pear pie. Pear crumble with uh, loads of uh, custard, white custard, vanilla custard. There we go. Um, yeah, 73 says, uh, got to keep it real, Danny, the best hill I ever walked down. That was when I used to park at the top of Highbury Hill. The amount of times I'd be going down there and I'd, whoever was pushing me nearly died holding on to me as we're going down at a 75% incline. So uh, I was okay. trying to make sure I park on Monsell Road. Is a good one. What is the worst football stadium you've been to to watch a game of football? Home Park, Plymouth. Oh, what well, a shithole of a ground. In relativity to the, the the stature of the team, it would have to have been Bolton's old ground when we played them in the FA Cup and then we, they drew nil-nil. We drove all the way to fucking Bolton. It was minus 50. Where I sat, the pitch started about this height for me because I was near the manager's dugouts. I couldn't see shit. It rained and it was fucking awful. And we drove back the same night. But that, but i had been to some real shithole grounds. I've been to Haven and Waterlooville. Went to see. I used to go and watch Barnet play a lot and Barnet Reserves. West Ham. Bob Lex is right. I've, I've been to West Ham. It is a I shit liked hole. West Ham. It's really not. I, like the I like the little castles at the front, but when you get inside, you think, oh my God. No, what that's a fucking uh, hole. Proper old stadium. I went there in the League Cup. Uh, Chelsea beat West Ham 1 0. Oxford's, Oxford's old manor ground as well. Again, shit hole. Mm. Sam ain't much better. But that's only because it's owned by a greedy cunt. Cambridge United, my local team, they're, that's a fucking shithole of a stadium. For such a great city like Cambridge, it's unbelievable. Dan Batch is right as well. Brighton's old ground was horrific. White Hart Lane, that's always been and will always be a shithole. <laughs> Oscar says, spend a day in North Korea or be a Spurs fan for a North London derby. I oh, think I'd go up North Korea. Me up for Korea. I've watched uh, the Vice documentary about um, where he goes who uh, wanders around uh, North Korea. Yeah, that's a, that's a sh- bit of a shithole. Bless them. It's not their fault. Uh, I think Kate has fucking turned the heating on. What is it with women and heating? I've got a whim. Seymour's left the fucking window open and I've got no trousers on because I just got out of bath. Oh. Uh, I keep, keep going on about Mo and Tom. Stop being mean about Tom. He's a friend of mine. Uh, Matt Harris. and uh, Oh, no. Yeah, not not anymore, mate. House prices gone crazy. Uni types everywhere. Fucking university scumbags. Uh... Joey Beecham, Matt Harris. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Joey Beecham signed for Liverpool and then went, oh, I'm homesick and went back. Oh, no, West Ham. Was it West Ham or Liverpool? Yeah, yeah it was. Do you know, sad story about him. He's oh. uh, I, I, I'm friends with him on Facebook now, how the mighty have fallen. And uh, he was well, selling off. All... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was selling off all of his uh, football memorabilia because he's uh, broke. So that's a sad story. Up in West Ham, just having a look on the wiki of Pedias. Jeff and Joey. No, that's an American lawyer. Uh, what was his name? Yeah, he's working in. A, he's working at Joey Beach. He's working in a bookies in Cowley Centre. This was granted. This was a few years back now, Matt. So, hmm. I wonder. Do you know what I wonder, Matt Harris? I wonder if Matt Harris saw any of my graffiti. Huh. Yeah, don't bring that up. We have differing opinions on that. No, no, Joey no, 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 no. Oh, here you go. I found him. He's now forty-six years old. Uh, oh, it was it was um, West Ham he signed for. Never played a fucking game. Let's see what Wikipedia says about that. Uh, Boo Bu- Bu- Camp was sold to Premier League side West Ham in 1994 for then a re- club record sale of 1.2 million. However, that di- didn't last long. Having not played a single competitive game for the Hammers, Bu- Camp uh, decided he couldn't stand the traffic travelling from Oxford each day. And I mean, 58 days after he was signed by Swindon for a club record fee of 800,000. Yep. Which included eight. Oh, they've got Adrian Whitbread as well. And uh, the opposite direction, Whitbread was valued at 750000 in the deal. So it's like West Ham made money out of that, made his town debut, and then Oxford he went. Oxford have produced Oxford. many good players throughout the years. John Aldridge. Yep. 
Instagram. Yep. I think did the, um, Martin Keown had something to do with them as well. Matt Elliott. Yeah. He was another player. Came through. Ray Houghton. He played there. I eventually he made Peter, his name at Leicester. Peter Rhodes Brown. He was in the 1986 Milk Cup winning side. And he had a huge moustache. I would. You know, I was there. 84. I was there, Danny. 86. Were you? I was there at the Milk Cup. Yep. That was the first ever game of football I went to officially see. It was uh, the Milk Cup final. I was there in a push chair. They didn't sell him back to Oxford. They sold him to Swindon. He went Oxford, West Ham, Swindon, then back to Oxford. So dirty, he played, dirty. He spent one season at Swindon. And he went back for 300,000. Keone is from Wheatley. You're right. He's got, uh, is it, um, oh, Water Gardens. Matt Harris knows what I mean. Oh, no, they only got uh, Oxford after paying all that money for him. Water they Perry Gardens. Grand. Yes. Any relation Matt to Harris. Perry Groves? No. Water Perry Gardens. No, is it, is it, no it's a place near uh, where Matt's just put. Um, Very math. But, but, uh, mm-hmm. Get in your questions as well. Do we? And it could be questions on anything. Where um, it is pretty much whatever, whatever goes, isn't it? Pitos accused me of digging in his nose. I am. Um, I have long hair, nostril hairs, and they irritate me. And I go like that. I'm not sure if it's my moustache tickling my nose or the hairs inside it. That's bad, isn't it? Really. I am sweat. I am sweating like Jimmy Savile in Mother Care. A football fan says Donald Trump or Nigel Farage. Uh, I like Mr. Farage. <laughs> I voted uh, to leave. Did you vote to leave? There we go. Uh, Steve is listening. He's going to throw some some nonsense, throw some sausages at his uh, listening device. Um. Yes, I did actually. Yes. I had an argument about this with someone. I said, "What if Germany was leaving?" And they said, well, I said, well, a net contributor, Germany leaving, but the whole Europe would be panicking. That's why they don't want us to go, because they love us. And that's where we leave that. I, I um, think it's a very touchy subject for some. Although I think if you put out the pros and the cons, I think as a nation, uh, and I, I'm, I don't do politics at all. I mean, it, it just confuses me. But That's because you're a simpleton. No, I just... Yeah, well, yeah, it probably is. I just it, it it makes no difference to me. It, it makes no difference to me. Seventy three you know I mean? says Selhurst Park was the his worst when Wimbledon played there. They had Billy Cyrus playing. Matt Eckie practice shows. Someone has been listening. Hello, Arian. Uh, opinions on salad tossing. Well, as I'm a, a committed carnivore, fuck salad. At least a cow has a chance to run away and piglets can make noises. Salad just has to sit there and suffer in silence. Thunder Road. What does Kate see in Gimli? Is she her? Is she a habitual weed smoker? No, oh, she didn't used to be. No, she don't. No, she doesn't. Uh, uh, lovely. Zola. What is it on about fucking Zola for? Are these people that are responding? Favorite non-Arsenal player ever. I think mine would be Roberto Baggio. Ooh, that's a tough one. Ah, uh, Del Piero. Yeah, he was a uh, he had he had he could kick a ball, probably still could. Although I always wanted Arsenal to sign Patrick Cliver, always. His son is now playing for Ajax, I think. Isn't he something to do with PSG? The man himself. Uh, I've no idea. I'm not going to look it up either. They've gone uh, Gary Mabbott, <laughs> uh, Ronaldo, or Batty Girl, which is Gabriele Batistuta, Argentinian legend. Who is your favourite comedian? Well, I would have to say probably my favourite comedian is Russell Howard. Oh, fuck off. It's West Country nonce. Although, 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 I do like uh, Mickey Flanagan. He's he right. fucking makes me laugh. Mickey Flanagan. Or Jimmy Carr. No, oh, fuck Jimmy Carr. I've seen him live twice. <laughs> Just do that for fucking an hour and a half. Uh, my favourite comedians would be Billy Connolly, or their storytellers would be Billy Connolly, um, Stephen Fry. He did. He, I've got one of his where he's talking. He's in Australia, and he's doing that. Um, I've probably got about three hundred stand-up um, things on. Uh, tell you one that I watched, which, really, is, which is quite ironic considering you're in a wheelchair. It, it, it does. It's how I get through my days. Who's that? The gay one who was um, on? Is it Lysit? Joe Lysit. Joe, Joe Lysit is very, funny, yes. Very, very good. Yeah, he is quite so funny. I see him ones. on um, the 
the when thingy do countdown and the stories that he puts on there about oh, when yeah. he writes into the newspapers <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolutely superb but you you got to love a good piss taker rob beckett he's very good oh rob beckett is fantastic and a lovely lovely man he's as you know is. as you well know Donny. he gave us the best part of three hours of his time romish ranga and then nathan yes he's very good. Try and get him on yeah, he was. Um, yeah. He does a lot of hip hop stuff. He does his own podcast about hip hop. Here, Eddie McGoldrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kyle Walker. Um, favorite non Arsenal. We've already been through favorite non Arsenal player, unless Akib was pointing out what it was. Was it Peter? Oh, I think Clive it was at PSG. Yeah, he got sacked. Right. Yeah, thank you, Bob Lex. Uh, what is your FIFA lineup and formation? I'm actually got back into playing FIFA. I bought a copy of a bloke I used to take to Arsenal with me, um, Lewis. The drive broke in my PS4 and I'm taking it away to get fixed tomorrow after about six months. So I actually can't remember what my lineup was. But I always on FIFA play 3-4-3. My lineup is um, I have Buffon, um, Bonanucci, um, Cialini and the other one as my back three. And my goalkeeper, and then I have uh, four across the middle. On the wide left, I have the Dortmund left winger, whose name I can't bloody remember. Central midfield is um, Ramsey as an inform and Cathola. Right side is an inform Walcott, Erzul in the hole, and then up front it is Sanchez and uh, a boomerang. A boomerang. But I have 1,700 players in my FUT game because I go and um, mine the bronze packs and I make a lot of money. I've got a couple of hundred thousand at the moment. How do saving. you mine a, a bronze pack? Well, you go and uh, at the moment they're doing 1,500 coins and you'll get 20 player, twenty cards of which seven are going to be special ones and that's 1,500 coins and then you just go through it all and some of the players are worth... Sometimes you get an inform. I have no word of a lie. Opened... Five, six hundred packets, and I've had four informs, three bronze, one silver. And the silver one I got I only got, got 12 grand for. And then, like, if you go and get a, a training entire team plus 10, you'll get 11, 1200 points, coins for that, and uh, some of the other stuff. It's pretty easy. See, I always used to go and buy players and then sell them on, a, a, mm. a, like, you know, pick them up cheap on the transfer market. Well, were, I bought a whole load about a month ago. I bought a whole load of Xhaka's when they were going for about two or three grand. And I had them on every day for a week, putting them on. No one wanted them up for um, seven or eight grand. No one wanted them. And then I just went and relisted them all. And immediately they all sold, all within a minute, 30 seconds. And I went, what the fuck? And I went back and checked and they'd all gone up to eight or nine grand. And I had them down to about five. I thought, for fuck's sake. I fucking hate it when that happens. And then uh, I should have bought a load of Giroux informs that were 25 grand. And they're now back up to about 50. Um, the, a decent one is to get the ox, pick him up for a grand, sell him for 1500. But I get bored. Thunder Road has put, if wanking was an ABW Olympic sport, who would win bronze since Danny and John would take gold and silver respectively? I say, Josh, he looks like his browser history would be suspect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you answer a question like that? Wow. I mean, that, that is a hell of a question. I, I think um, John is... No. Himself some poontang, doesn't he? He gets... Him the lady uh, I, I don't think john needs to resort to anything other than the real thing he has he's he's the, the george clooney of the podcast yes he is he's, he aging, is. he's aging like a fine wine 73 wants to know my informal cot did i only play him in pre-season or what <laughs> i'll play him every time yeah i only play for fut i don't play anything else i definitely don't play online because i fucking hate it um bob lex says if you could have any player at arsenal who would it be at the moment uh, that's a good question. It's, it's what position do we need filling the most? Um, and I'd what, go for Neymar. Do you know what? I, I, I think we could oh, do great things for... No, he'd get the ump as soon as it starts raining. And then he'd expect his wages in a brown envelope underneath a table at a local restaurant run by the Mafia every week. <laughs> you got a bank account? What do you mean, bank account? Um, what position do we really need? We've got a goalkeeper and defenders. <sighs> I think I'd like to see someone like Vidal in midfield. If, if, if nothing else to keep Sanchez happy, but he's a fucking animal. 
but they're going to be really happy with um with uh, Xhaka in midfield. He looks brilliant. The Xhaka Ramsey combination next season. If they say, oh, Mike has retracted a message. Oh, I wonder what that said. I'm probably giving that his know. phone number. Oscar said Freddie Freddie Adu. Adu. Uh, he's uh he's last I heard Freddie Adu was playing in the uh the American second division, the NASL. Um Virgil van Dijk from San Greaves, good player. But I don't think we need any more centre backs of that quality that they would be an immediate start for every game. Uh Matt has put I bet Chris is into pirate porn. God knows what he does with the Captain Hook wooden stump. Well, I think I can't tell you where he puts it. Oh. Uh, worst haircut you've ever seen. I think I'm going to go for Neymar when he first came over to Europe. Uh, I'm going to go Abu Javier. Yeah, terrible. You just made that up. Ab- Abu Javier. Yeah, he played for Liverpool. Then he went to Middlesbrough. He's, he's the one that didn't. Uh, uh, oh, the, the, um, the, yes, I know. He had the, the, the blonde beard and the blonde hair. Black or bloke. Carlos Valderrama. He had fucking awful Don't. hair. Don't fuck with the Car- Valderrama. He's Colombian. Take all that back. I'm going to get shot. Which would be a better holiday from King? He says, Amsterdam or Bangkok? Well, I went to Amsterdam for four days. And I remember very little about it. I only slept for a, uh, a few hours. So it's, it's, for me, that's not really a... It's, it's lady boys or drugs? Which every, one? <laughs> yeah, drugs every time. I, I mean, I, I hate to disagree with a verb, but they definitely work. Um... Dan Batch says Bill Bailey for comedian. Yeah, he is brilliant. That jam spoon. Bullion spoon. His, uh, um, his DVD part troll was a fantastic stand up show. I've got all Absolutely of his... superb. Talented fella as well. Can play a lot of uh, can play a lot of instruments. And never us feel hear Bill Bailey, I automatically think now 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 He plays a Sweeney. Um Oscar says favourite album. I've just um, my favorite album at the moment is the new one by Alana Del Rey. I've listened to it about four times, very loud. She's very, very good. I've got the new Snoop um, album, which was good, and I got the new Jay Z, which was N word this, N word that. Oh, what it's like to be so broke! Shut up, you dickhead! You are a multi. See, you're one of the richest people in the world. Shut it. I'm I'm going old school. I'm going old school, and. Uh... I'm going for Linkin Park with Hybrid Theory, actually. Yeah, mm. I'm going to go for that. That's my favourite album. Very and uh, uh, R.I.P. Chester Bennington. What a what a massive talent that has been taken from us again. How sad not, that not, is as well. taken. He delivered himself. Well, the, yeah, but, um, and I should say, on, on a serious level, if there are people um, did. that have issues... That, go, and they, talk, go and talk to someone, for fuck's sake. Yeah, talk to someone. Especially because it's always six fucking fella. kids. I yeah. saw an interview with him when he was saying, I don't want to be in my head on my own. When I'm lucky, depression is something that has never affected me at all, not even fucking slightly. But my mum has and my brother has and uh, my neighbours have and my friends have and other family members have. I'm just really lucky that I, I see the positive. I'm so angry all the time. I haven't got time to be upset. Mm. So, but I, I can't see how people can be. But I, know, I see my, my people, like my brother, the situation my brother's in is a fucking nightmare, poor bloke. And uh, oh, achy foot. Um, yeah, but it's not good. But I suppose as I can't relate to it, like I can't relate to people who being vegetarians. I like, think how I can, the fuck could you not eat meat? But, I, can, I can relate to, to. I can relate to depression. I think. Yeah, uh, it's not fucking drugs different. you do. No, 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 not, not just bringing me, it on. Me, not just me personally, you prick. <laughs> I know how Kate feels because she lives with you. She's bound to have some kind of illnesses down to you. There ain't a fucking pill made that can, <laughs> that can make me fucking easy to live with. I guarantee you that. <laughs> but uh, no, depression is it's, uh, it's a horrible thing. And, it, and it's not just the person going through it. It's for the people around them as well. Yeah. It's horrible. I am. Um, it, it's... Well, one of my friends, she's um, she's off of work with it at the moment. She's been off for uh, quite a long time, and then she said, "Everyone's saying I'm having the hypnotherapy over it." I said, oh, "I could have fucking sorted this out a few ages ago." And she said, oh. "I said, slap me around the face, Tony, get the fuck on with it." <laughs> every time, every time I say that to her, she just tells me to fuck off. I say, "Come on, if that doesn't fix it, nothing will." Pull your fucking socks up, get on with it. You're not in the trenches in World War One. You've doesn't definitely help. got Asperger's. Oddly You've enough, it doesn't got help it. the situation at all. I know it's hard to believe. I would, I would, 
I would I would also say with your mispronunciation of names, you're probably slightly dyslexic as well. <laughs> uh, I know I've got ADHD. And that's down to the drugs again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. I went to the doctors and uh, many years ago and said uh, they did a test on dyslexia. And they said, everybody has it to a certain degree. Like I get my B's and D's back together and I spell everything phonetically. Ooh, pardon me. Did Jeez, left, where did, did that come from? Did you get your left and your right mixed up? Never, ever. I've never in my life had someone gone left and I've gone right. I don't even have to look at my hands. It annoys me. And they go, on your left and someone looks right, I go... I'm going to fucking murder you. You're a fucking simpleton. Yeah. Yeah, there is that. There is that. So fucking annoying. Well, I, sat, I like to annoy people. and They're writing and they'll look at them and go, oh, I didn't know you were left-handed. They'll stop. They'll pick up the pen in their right hand that they're holding it and go, I'm not left-handed. And by which time, I'm just looking at them. Froghorn, leghorn. There you go. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> we're 73 but whiskey is good for depression half a bottle and you don't give a shit <laughs> uh, I'll drink oh. to that uh, K-Man's favourite comedian Bill Burr he's alright Dave Chappelle I don't like Louis CK I don't really like um, Joe Rogan who's one of my favourite people in the world Nanu Nanu um, he is a shit comedian just very very loud have you ever noticed her cock, balls, balls, ass, tits. Her, have you ever noticed? No. American comedians are very rarely funny. One of the greatest ever. He, he died, uh, George Carlin. Observational right. comedy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dennis Leary, another magnificent one. No, see, they're these, all these people, they're, they're, they're alien to me. Oh, you ain't lived. Um, uh, Matt wants to know, have either of us ever been in the back of Jeff's taxi? <laughs> No, 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 definitely not. No, Stan lives in Amsterdam and he says it's Pony. I went, I, I stayed on Dam Square uh, for in, went there in November 1994. So I thought we were going there by plane, went there for a documentary and uh, it turned out we went there by bus, a <laughs> shit bus. And it was horrible because all the way there we just watched Simpsons videos and I remember thinking this is fucking awful. Wow. So that was the, um, the, 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 there, didn't like it. Nothing wrong with Amsterdam or Holland, but I didn't like the journey. We went in November and it was fucking cold. When we went into McDonald's, I didn't understand what I wanted. I said, could you just no vegetables? They weren't having it. Favourite cartoon show as a kid and worst one? I hate oh. cartoons, so my favourite would have been Danger Mouse, probably. And I hated Thunder the cats. rest of them. Maybe Thundercats. 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 Uh, and worst one. Worst one. Hang on, worst one. I don't know. Back when I was growing up, all the all the the kids' TV was written by people that were on hard drugs. But that's that's <laughs> no, 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 that like Button Moon and shit like that. You have no. got to be up absolutely off your fucking tree to write some of that shit. And what the fuck? I saw someone right. Have we ever watched Rainbow? Yes, I have watched Rainbow, and I thought it was creepy weird. Of course, I've seen fucking Rainbow. I'm nearly fifty, apparently. That uh, Dean, my mate Dean from the... Actually, I could probably go out the side of the front of my house now, shout very loud, and Dean would be able to hear me. And he loves all of his um, um, 70s and 80s cartoon stuff. What are you doing what's up your... so late, Dean? He's probably up looking after Little Man. What's, actually, little what's, man, your, um, what's your favourite programme on television, like, right now? Even if it's off-season? Um, one modern, thing that you Modern Family. Really? Modern Family. And I'd probably go that? Undateables. Love it. Uh, yeah, I like Undateables. And uh, um, First Dates is good. And uh, Gogglebox Catfish. is good. What's that one on Dave where they get give a Taskmaster? That is different class. Ross Noble does a good one of those on Dave where he goes around on his bike and he just answers uh, people on Twitter that send him stuff. I can't watch goes, Ross Noble because he just does this the whole time. Just does that, flicks his hair behind his ears and it drives me fucking nuts. Hmm. How's, how's the muddler, Dean? And little man? Still dressing him up like a full kit wanker like yourself. There's going to be a law against that soon. Oh, I know what I was going to say to you. What's that then? That, uh, guess who is back on Twitter? I think. I don't know anybody who's left. Yes, you do. Someone I know, tur Turkish our... sort. Dan, uh, Nina. Uh, yes, yeah, Turkish shorty. She's not tweeted since February. Quite a few. Um, Chris, the... Um, 
uh, Tunmore, the wrestler. He hasn't tweeted for ages. Has he not? No, I unfollowed a load of people by accident. I just went and oh. I found some of them. But I just did a thing where um, I was just looking through one of these apps and uh, I clicked the button to, I thought it was clicked to order them in order of how long it was since they last tweeted. And it wasn't. It was delete everybody and follow everybody who hasn't tweeted in 30 days. So luckily one of them, uh, my friend from America, I've known since my uh, forum days, went, Oi, I've just heard the podcast. You've unfollowed me. I went, oh, fuck, I didn't know who it was. And I think he, I might have mentioned him. And so he, uh, yeah, I followed him back. Mm. What's Dean put? Uh, is that beautiful French bastard Giroud on his way to the Blue Boys yet? Is, is, is Giroud going to go to Everton, Dean wants to know? Yeah, I think he will. Really? Although, no, 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 saying that, Banger has got a bit of a hard on for him, hasn't he? But he's getting old, but he's never relied really on pace, has he? See, see, the thing is, I think Giroud technically, as a squad player, is, is fantastic. But I don't necessarily think he's... He's not going to win you titles. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear. Um, what are you going to say? You were asked. You were saying something about your favourite show or something. I can't remember. Oh Jesus Christ! You got memory of a goldfish. I oh, know. I genuinely have. Dean, when we went to the Champions League final, I did get you to video everything on the day, didn't I? You had a little handheld silver camcorder. I'm sure. I'm not sure if I dreamt it. We were going through the back streets of um of Paris, getting worried. Because it was like a scene out of fucking Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, geez. Entertainment we purposes, people. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Entertainment purposes only. Nothing is like up, And I thought, my God, we, it was fucking. I thought we were going to get mugged, murdered. Shock. They never would have seen us again. We were lost. You know, I've, I've, to, to be honest with you, I've never been to Paris. It's a shithole. Much like London's a shithole. Unless you've got a load of money and you stay right in the middle, it's a shithole. And I can say that because I was born in London. I'd burn the like... fucking place down, build a car park. Hmm. A bit yes. like Oxford done, in a way. I went to Oxford the, once. The, see the, Billy the Connolly. Clicking. Did you really? Hmm. Went to see him in 2000, just after I bought the Merc. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, me and Seymour went down there. He was here earlier. And we went to see him. He was doing a benefit for one of his crew, sound crew, that had cancer. Yeah, we um. We, well, was Dean. that the um, the theatre? <clears throat> yeah, massive yeah. thing. It's really nice. I saw it's lovely. Jethro there. Very, very good. Very good. Jethro's not funny. And no, Dean's just no, like we got off the ferry, and I forgot to pick up um to fill the car up full of petrol before we got onto the ferry. And so we got off the ferry, realised we had no petrol, and then we pulled off into this um in the slip road. When you come off the motorways in France, you have to go through a toll to get into the village and a toll to come back out again. So we went down there. We pulled off down this thing, this little bit of road. And as we come down to the roundabout, I went around the roundabout and Dean's laughing his ass off. And I said, what are you fucking laughing at? And he couldn't breathe properly. He went, ah, ah, you're going the wrong way around the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> I was roundabout. I went around the wrong way. Oh, dear, that was hilarious. And then I nearly really crashed the car coming off of the ferry because I decided to try and wheel spin it coming off of it, not realising that all the cars stopped at the other end of the bit that dips down. That was fucking terrible. Left the car in drive so we couldn't get the keys out of the ignition. Oh, oh, Matt Harris. No, I, I know a lot of Oxford isn't, uh, isn't necessarily cheap anymore. I know uh, if you know Jericho down near Summertown, that's, uh, I, I, I've spent a few good years living there, and that's like two grand a month to rent a house down there. Pay £395 to rent a house in Wales. You can have How a whole of Wales for that. that. And Mr. Bob Leck's favourite alcoholic drink? This will be a long go. list. No. What is it? It's ooch, isn't it? It's fucking ooch. I'm not looking. I'm looking at the, the, the chat box. Oh. So I'll see you hold it up in about 30 right seconds. There. Yeah, that's it. My, I don't really drink. But the only alcohol I have in the house at the moment is um, Copperberg pear cider. Oh, there you go. You're holding it up. Uh, yeah. Good. Copperberg pear cider. Um, I can. I usually I've not had a can for a couple of weeks and bottles of Bud only because it's really nice when it's cold and I'll have one of those and I feel a bit dizzy halfway through. Ah, rules. I know it well. Hooch tastes like horse piss. Bring me the horse. That's all I'm saying. Bring me the fucking <laughs> Whiskey needle with a shot of absinthe. Jesus. Wow. We should ask. We gonna... should... Jericho Tavern is, is still decent. Uh, we should ask people, what's everybody's favourite drug? <laughs> they, yeah, let's go there like uh, whether you've whether you've done it in the past 
that you might even be on it now. Well, theoretically, I'm, oh. I would have to, I'd have to say uh, probably ecstasy because I've heard it's really really good, really nice you, few. But remember, this have is you for ever had it? Have you no, ever had it? You have to no, have had it. No, to remember this is for entertainment higher. purposes only. We're a little bit like Watchdog at the moment. We're just doing a customer survey. Yeah, all drugs we're, we're, are bad. Don't do any drugs, people. Don't do no no. All drugs are bad. Drugs are, t- are, t- are terrible things. But what's your what's <laughs> like? Hangra. And if you've had good experience <laughs> of them, obviously. Diazepam. <laughs> <laughs> I had Cal-pan. some diazepam recently. That was the last last drug I took. My brother gave me some because I went to the dentist and I tend to shake like a shitting dog. There's Charm was videoing me. I just can't control my nerves. And he gave me some diazepam. I took a whole one, got down, and I went, oh fuck! And I had to come home quickly. And I was very very ill from the wrong end. <laughs> So that's my experience. See, this, that was a good question. We've got some. <laughs> we've got some good answers. Matt Harris with Viagra. I had a mate of mine took Viagra. He said he was chasing her around the room. He was nearly up for a rape charge <laughs> by the end of it, <laughs> literally. And uh, that was like it, that went on for about six hours. Entertainment so, uh, I mean, only people. Again, yes. Uh, just, uh, I will say they were in a relationship at the time. <laughs> it wasn't just some random girl that he met. Look but I seven, have. Just, look what seventy three is. But to Mazapan. Zyperclone and some coke. <laughs> That's a night out. <laughs> I don't even know what one of them is. Oh, all I know is the coke would have given you a brilliant eye. Alcohol is technically a drug, so I'll go with that, Craig Murphy. That's a fair shout. Remember, all, all drugs are bad. We don't we we don't condone the use of drugs unless, like Dennis, no, like um, Bill Hicks used to say, unless it's the taxable drugs, then they're the good drugs. Smoking and drinking kills more people than if you made every single drug legal and free for the entire planet, still wouldn't kill as many people as smoking and drinking. I just want to point that out. But smoking and drinking are good because they're the drugs they make taxes from. You know, if they just made every single drug free, so there's a shop, go and get what you want, pure quality. We'll get rid of half of the retards on this planet within a week. You might well be one of them. But no, 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 no. But let's, let's be honest, while we're having it right, most people die when they take drugs because they don't understand the drug that they are taking, Danny. If you, have a little bit of, if you have a little bit of intelligence, mm. and like with most things, like with drink, if you treat alcohol with respect, you can have fun. Yeah, you get people have died from drinking too much water. Too much. Exactly. Yeah, but just thinking about I mean, the money, I it's can, an I can now say, weed has never actually killed, but no one has ever, ever overdosed from well, They've been late for weed. work. No, well, well. They might have overdosed on so, munchies after. Yeah, exactly. Overdosed <laughs> on fucking cake. They've gone down to Threshers and eaten their own weight in M&M's. <laughs> Mr. Bob Black says put Coca-Cola. Oh, uh, Matt Harris, did Viagra once, got, scar- uh, got spiked with it on a lad's holiday, was terrible, just gave me a mean semi for a day and a half. Oh, and he's uh, not talking houses. No. Yeah, it's no, a known fact that the police in, in the whole world, there's all the amount of people that are in prison in America, and most of them are because of drugs. Let them all go. Just make it all in. You're never going to be there. It's like prohibition. You're never going to fucking... I don't do any drugs, and I would make them all fucking legal. You're gonna. It's, it'd be like trimming the herd at first, and then after that, everyone will go. Oh, what were we having that for about? Trump will be over there with old uh, Kim Jong Sung, and they'll be over there. They'll be having a chit chat, playing a game of tiddlywinks. They'll hug it out, and then the whole world will be okay. MDMA overdose is common, but that's again that only goes with people who are fucking idiots who think they they can take too much. It's like with alcohol. What's the worst? Like you get your stomach pumped. Mm. I know people die from from drinking too much, but you know, again, you abuse something and expect it to abuse you. <laughs> Sam's put awkward day at the water park. <laughs> 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 oh, you know, kicked out of mother care yet again. Uh, Stan the man, he has put a bottle of poppers and a bird with massive jugs. Oh, there you go. That's the that's the thing. Mid nineties for you. You go to um, United Dance, Kettering, hello. <laughs> Stevenage. Don't give your love. Stevenage, not Kettering. I can't understand the street giving handjobs. So okay. Mr. Mackey, I see. I see what you did there. Spot on. It's all about knowing what you're taking. Yeah, exactly. Of course it's <laughs> See, I don't have an addictive personality. There is nothing. I'm not addicted to anything. I never could be. See, whereas I do. Yeah, I, I like, like to, I like I've to have noticed. <laughs> 
don't you have I the face like, of a 50 like... year old and the body of a 70 year old no I don't it's warm in here i'm sweating like did you, you ever go believe. to um united dance dean i went many times from no, 94, 95, 96, quite a few times I went there. Wonderful place until after. And then the lights would come on at five o'clock and six o'clock in the morning and I'd look under my chair and I could move for plastic water bottles <laughs> wedged in the spokes all underneath me. Fucking hell, I had to, to, to dig me out like I'd been in some kind of avalanche of water bottles. Ah, oh, great days, apparently. I've got itchy nostril, I think. Hair, yes. Well, what other questions should we talk about? Because... Uh, Drugs are wrong. Um, yes. I've wrote down. Oh, that, that was that was, a, uh, uh, that was an enjoyable, an enjoyable um, conversation, wasn't it? Uh, this one from that Billy sent us in at Billy TW nineteen ninety two. From what you have seen so far, do you think we are ready for the first game of the season, or do you think we still need more time? Also, do you think any more players will come in before the window ends? Uh, I don't think we're ready. No. I think no. I, I think he still needs to spend more money on the team. I do. I do. I think you need to get rid of the players that underperform on a regular basis or the players that you don't get value for money on. Like players like, and, and, and it saddens me to say it, but Santi Cazorla, amazing footballer, lovely bloke, I'm sure. But what's the point in paying like 80 grand to someone, that you know, like 100 grand that you get like 10 games a season out of? These are the type of people that we've employed in the past. They should be gone. You should be getting rid of them. Like people like Carl Jenkinson. He's never going to make the team. Fuck him off. We can't though, like because I said, he won't leave. Early. He's on 45 grand a week. So how are we going to get rid of him? You mean no one's stupid enough to buy him, Danny? Hmm. We can't get rid of him. So we either loan him out and hopefully that someone gives us 10 grand a week for him or we let him go on a free. But... Uh... Either way, I guess they would uh, well, see how much of an Arsenal fan he was when it came down to money, eh? Yeah, I just... Uh, but um, Dean's an Everton fan. He says, Ross Barkley, he's great. Honest, Gov. Uh, should Arsenal buy Ross Barkley for Arsenal's sake, Dean, or for Everton's sake? West Ham will buy him. I actually, buy him. I actually quite like Ross Barkley. I mean, he, he went off the boil last year, but... but he, he... <laughs> see what Matt's put. Gim, would you rather give up weed and beer or have DT as a roommate? Well, you'd only have DT as a roommate for about an hour. And then, I mean, you might end up serving 19 years, but yeah. To be honest with you, I think if that was the case, one of us would end up killing each other. Like <laughs> uh, that, that, that feud is, is so far gone. Opinions don't change, of <laughs> course. But uh, I've learned from the Lee Gunner incident. Let's just say that. And again... <laughs> not, not, not got a bad word to say about Lee Gunner to, uh, what? to 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 anyone that's here. At the end of the day, like I said, people people saw it, saw it. It is what it fucking is. I never deleted anything. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Do you feel better though? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. I just... See, the thing is, like, with the, when you were talking about depression, people yeah. deal with it in different ways. They either, like, let it build up, build up, and build up, and build up, and then, bang, they just let it go. And in many ways, that's the way I am. I can, I can tolerate it to, a, to, to, like, four, five, six months, maybe, and then all of a sudden, you just have a complete fucking meltdown. And once I've had that, it might only take a couple of hours, but I'm fine. So did you actually know him then? Really? Yeah. Or was he just someone you no. randomly picked on? Oh, he, um, I, I think it was something to... I had made a comment about Tom and said oh. something that wasn't very nice. Uh, well, See, that's, that's unlike you. And Lee might have made a comment to it. And I took exception to it and then offered him out and gave him my address. <laughs> and so he sent you around for, for hours. For, for, the, no, for the record, he actually had my address. Uh, number 13, isn't so, it? That's the one. 13 shithole, yeah. Murtha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. 
You ever thought and wondered no. about the number of times that you've had disagreements with people on Twitter? I've been on there, what, eight and a half years. I don't think I've had a single argument with anyone. That's because you're just, chilled out as fuck. I'll just do the Daniel Cowan and send him a kit. And in fact, someone nearly had an argument with someone the other day. Oh, and Big Brother, you've got those two girls from London. One of them, Deborah, was absolutely lovely. Hannah was a fucking arsehole. And when they get together, they kept putting on that Nigerian accent. And it f- was fucking me off. And I said, oh, I just want to mute them when they start doing that Nigerian accent thing. And then some bloke tweeted me about, oh, the amount of racism in that, in that tweet. I thought, well, that's a little bit like me and my brother sitting around. And then just suddenly going into using an Irish accent because our mum's Irish. Um, people going, oh, that's fucking annoying me. Why do you keep doing that? I say, yeah, you're probably right. I'll stop it. There you go. That's a similar thing. And I couldn't stand the Scot. Well, that other one, the um, one with the long dark hair. Was he Scottish or Northern I, Irish? I haven't been watching it. I, what, you said you watched it? Not, not normal, Big Brother. I don't watch normal. I, I, no. I don't fucking entertain idiots. I just can't. Most some accents no, just grind me. But that's why they're in there. They're, they're wannabe celebrities. I'd rather watch Some the celebrities. Of them pretty good. I liked Ellie, but Ellie was a bit of a. Um, she has issues, bless her. She was every bloke I knew that the paid boss, I knew the boss one that walked out. I know, I, I know of him. How? Because he did, he did a program called Life is Tough. Fucking hilarious. And he is like, well, oh. I wouldn't say super rich, but they put it like this. They live in like a mansion house in. Who doesn't? Uh, it's uh, bah, 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 down south somewhere. Yeah, so. Matters, <laughs> but Lee looks like a budget Love Islander. Oh, I'm Dean says he'll swap, um, he'll swap as Barkley for the Ox and some Green Shield stamps. <laughs> Lovely stuff. We'll do it. Let's have it. Um, I, I'm not saying anything about Lee. That ship has sailed, unfortunately. You'll only get the wrath once, <laughs> oh. unless you can, unless you continue to be melty, and then you might get it again. So are you um? Are you ready for the beginning of the season? Because uh, what's our plans for? I'm just looking at our fixtures coming up. Um, surprised we lost today. But was Sevilla any good or were we just shit? Mm, a little from column A. Little from, I don't think fucking Sevilla really so fucking won lit the up cup? the place. We did. No, Sevilla, we did. Sevilla won it. Did they? Yeah, they won both their games. No, Arsenal won it. I'm sure they did. I watched it on Quest and they didn't show the trophy ceremony, but I thought Arsenal won Sevilla beat us 2-1 and they beat RB Leipzig 1-0. No, because the Emirates Cup goes on goals, doesn't it? So you get a point for every goal that you scored. So we yeah, so had... we, we got six goals and three points equals nine. And Sevilla got three goals and six points, which also equals nine. So they beat us. I, I... So yet yeah, again, we haven't even won our own fucking trophy. I think, no, I think we've won it. We won no. it on goal scored. Yes, yeah, see, Matt Harris, we won it on goal scored. Arsenal won the trophy. See? What a bullshit way That's... to run a tournament. And you're turning around and telling <laughs> me, asking me, oh, are you ready for the season? You don't know your arse from your elbow. Oh, here you go. We won it. Oh, no. Yes. That was a fucking shame of it. We Even your beaten. fucking mate's telling you that you won it. And I you didn't do watch, I've not watched a single bit of telly today other than the, the Grand Prix because I thought it's guaranteed. And I think the last 30 laps of the Grand Prix, I watched it on six times fast forward so they'd get the fuck on with it. So I, could go I, have a I thought uh, I saw the, the Grand Prix was, uh, wasn't it quite boring? Who won? Yeah, of course it was. It's always fucking boring. Um, Vettel first, um, Kimi Räikkönen yes. second, uh, uh, um, Bottas third, Hamilton fourth. Someone else fifth, and I think um, Alonso sixth. Yeah. So we've got the Charity Shield on, is it Sunday, this coming Sunday? Hold out much hope for that, because remember, if we win it, it's a trophy. If we don't win it, it was just a meaningless friendly. <laughs> so the, both times we play, well, all the times we played Chelsea this season, I've written us off in everyone. I didn't think, you know, that that we'd beat them at Wembley. I, say, I think it's just a case of how much... Either they or we are up for it, isn't it, on the day. Anything could happen. We seem to enjoy playing at Wembley, um, unlike the scum. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't... See, there's First... still part. There's, there's a, a massive part of me that thinks we're we're not ready. We're not ready. I, I are we ever ready? No, we've no, no. Players. We've got a backup left back who looks absolutely immense. So I think maybe he might start at the left wing back. Hope he does because he's like a train. And we've bought a striker who people are already on the back of already. And that's it. 
Which is harsh, and uh, it is harsh. I mean, oh, yeah. how can you write Give someone him off Christmas? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Look at Thierry Henry. What's he? Doing? He was no, but he took a good year to settle before he was even started to show anything like the finished product. True. You know what I mean, and he was an immense player. He so, wasn't too bad, wasn't until he fucked it. I mean, I, I, it's the thing with football that players now are expected to just turn up and rock it from day one. Whereas, really, when I'm thinking of players that we've bought that have rocked it from day one, oh, sure, I mean, you have. Uh, <laughs> Santi Cazorla, that he settled and he was immense from day one. Goals his first season. Yeah, I mean, what more could you ask for from that? But, like, I think people expect too much too soon. And uh, I think sometimes being an Arsenal fan, you live in little club <laughs> mentality where we're going out and spending 50 or whatever million pound it is on a footballer. And we're automatically expecting that because he's our record signing, that he's going to be brilliant from day one. Players take time to settle. They certainly so, do. So first game of the season, Friday night. Um, so that means I'm going to have my mates here. And the 7.45 kickoff, BT, it's going to be BT Sport, is it? I don't know. Is it Arsenal? No, it's Arsenal v Leicester. Yeah. We're not listening. It's, uh, it's a Friday. We kick off the season, don't we? We yeah, start that's the season. Said, is it on BT or is it on, on Sky? I would imagine it would be on Sky. I'm going to go and have a look at live football on TV and see what they say. Uh uh, probably doesn't go that far forward. Oh, 10th of August. What's the date of it? It's going to be the 6th of August. No, not the 6th of August. It's going to be the 11th. Yeah, 11. So uh, the 11th of August. Uh, oh, Sky Sports. Excellent. I mean, I won't have to stream it from my uh, BT Sport app. Sky Sports won on Friday night. Oh, what do you think? Sky think... changed the name of all their channels. What a load of wank. To no, I have any you, fucking idea what they're called. The only thing that I have to do with Sky now is their internet and that's it it's very good internet yeah they've renamed them um sky sports premier league sky sports main event sky sports fucking dingleberry sky sports fucking mushroom and cheese omelette have they now have have they now changed it all yeah oh there's no more sky sports one anymore they've got about eight or nine channels and every one has got a new name and they've they've all been abbreviated as well so you're looking through them, you go, well, I don't even know what that fucking says. Some moron is trying to justify his wages at Sky has gone, yeah, well, me and my boffins, we've come up with a new idea. We're going to change all the names. No, don't fucking change the names. Leave the fucking names as they want to were, because all you meant is Sky Sports 1, 401, 2, 402. It was bad enough when they put Sky Sports News as 401 and Sky Sports 1 was 402. That was confusing enough. Anyway, so it's going to be on, it's going to be on Sky, which is good. That is good. It's that very is. good. So, uh, we're holding out much hope against Leicester. Uh, do you know who Leicester have signed? Anyone of any interest? Um, do you? No, I don't actually. Have they signed you, anyone decent? You know, if you go to birdcountwonderland.co.uk and then you go to transfers and then you click on the very late top one, which is summer 2017, I've done every single Premier League transfer, <laughs> big and small. Um, so, we've got uh, Chesney's gone to Juventus. That's a shame. Kalen Hines gone to Wolfsburg, where we Lundberg should, we should is. Talk about Chesney because I, I think that's. If I was doing a show, it would be one of the talking points, and I'm actually quite pissed off that we've got rid of Chesney. Well, there was Steve says that he's, he's made it known in Poland and Polish circles that he will not work with that clown Jerry Payton. And that's See you also later, Matt why. Harris. Cheers, Matt. And that's also why um, Fabianski left. And uh, but hopefully with Jens Lehmann coming in. And we've got that other bloke who was at Charlton who's apparently been there a while, but everybody thought was new. I didn't know he was new or anything. I never even heard of him. Someone's put, we are signing, uh, they are signing Ian Atchew from City. Who are we? Are? No, they are. Who's they? Arsenal? No, Leicester, you prick. Are they? Yes. Fuck me, they wasted some money last season on some right old donkeys out front. Oh, is, oh, is that West Ham? See, this is, this is where the chatbot gets a bit squiffy because I don't know... If people are replying as they're listening earlier in the show, or if they're replying as they're listening. Yeah, yeah, seven seconds a day. Seven or eight seconds. We have it on the shortest delay you can have. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, there you go then. So, uh... so Chesney. Yeah, he had to go because he's he is the number one keeper, and uh, Petr Cech is going to be our number one for this season and next season at least. Mm. Do you agree? I, I see, but the thing is with Chesney, 
we all know that Peyton is useless. Yep. We've all seen... Do you know why he's Peyton asking in the first place? I've, I've no idea. Steve told us this or someone else. My, I can't remember who told us it. Um, no, I don't think it was Steve. It was when John Tigana was manager of Fulham. He's French and he was a mate of Wenger's. And he said, oh, I'm leaving Fulham. They're letting go of everybody. Anyway, any chance you can give him? I've got him. Jerry Payton. He's a really good goalkeeper, goalkeeping coach. Could you give him a job? Now, take that of a pinch of salt, people, because I can't remember who said it, and they might have told us in confidence. So, uh, remember, people, entertainment purposes only. <laughs> so, there, that was the gist. And where, where have I read the um, an extract from a book when they were talking about Joey Payton and they said that he was like a little bit of a lapdog to Arsene Wenger? That is and, uh, true. Ray Parler, was, maybe? It, it was found as a joke that he would constantly be sucking up to him and he was known as uh, to players and staff as just basically a a, a joke. I don't know. I've, I don't read many. It makes you. I mean, it makes you. It makes you wonder because uh, I mean, if if you're getting all these complaints, and he's. I mean, let's be honest with you. The Arsenal keepers of the last ten years are, are all making the same mistakes. Yeah, flappy coming out the area windmilling. But Petr Cech made this makes the same mistakes or, or makes mistakes at arsenal that i can tell you he wouldn't have made at chelsea uh well i know nothing about coaching so i have to agree with you um in fact we, he, we we probably made check a worse player well that and old age and playing behind a, a defense that is never the same week in week out has he never saved a penalty I think this, he's let he's they've either missed or scored from seven. I don't think he's actually saved one. So I remember that from last season. Wow. Remember Stefan O'Connor, to be sure, to be sure, the Irish legend? Yeah, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, Newcastle picked him up on a free. Hopefully long before they get rid of him. Uh, Christophe da Gracia. He's, uh, we let him go and he's gone to uh, Gothenburg in Sweden. Glenn Kamara, the uh, Finland international, absolute useless. Gone to Dundee in Scotland. Uh, super, super Dan Crowley, let him go on a free. He's gone to Willem 2, to five. So yeah, what's what's gone wrong with our youth academy, though? Because I remember, I know, like, La Masia is, is just the, premier, the, the cream of the crop, the very best. But there mm. were times when they were calling Arsenal, like, Barcelona light in terms of producing young talent. And it seems to like, do you remember we were all sold the dream by Arsene Wenger that oh, he's we three were going to have great, done it. Yeah, we were going to have a great team and we were going to buy in stars to to make up the numbers and uh, recruit from within. And, and That's why we couldn't get rid of them because they have parity for all the young players all on 20, 30 grand a week. Um, all of them were fucking useless. The only one out of that bunch was Jack Wilshire. And now he's useless. Yeah. I think it's La Messiah. 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 Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some goals has gone off to Toulouse in France. Chris Willock has gone to Benfica in Portugal. Uh, Chris Costas Pelias has been released, and Savas Morgas has been released. We've loaned out Mark Bowler has gone to Bristol Rovers, a young left back who's played really well for Notts County last season. Takuma Asano has had his loan at VFB Stuttgart um, for another season. He won the title, second division title with him last season. Great first half, dwindling second half. So we can look at Leicester, won't we? Um, see who Leicester have bought. Yeah. Leicester have got oh, Huddersfield. Good to see Huddersfield back at the top. Only other team other than Arsenal to have won three titles in a row, I think. Back in the Go straight down there, weren't they? Do you reckon? Uh, well, they've spent big. Leicester. They've bought uh, Vicente Ibora from Sevilla for 12 million. Harry Maguire from Hull for, 12, for 11 million. Ed, Edlin Jakubovic. That's um, the goalkeeper from Hull for two million, and Sam Hughes from Chester. Well, they've done fuck all there, haven't they? I get the feeling they don't trust the new yeah. manager. And, and it, if... Mares will be off to whoever pays the most. Yeah, but I think Mares is definitely wages. going. Yeah, uh, see, well... uh, see, we're being linked with him. Would you take him? I'm not sure. I want him. <sighs> it's just what do we need? One more player who plays on out wide. I mean, that's not what really what we need, is it? We need to bolster up the centre of midfield. Yeah. So we don't have to rely on the cock and El Nenny. As, as, as good as they'll give it, they're not going to go in there and dominate like a, a Vidal would. They ain't, pull it, they ain't pulling up trees, are they? They ain't going to get you. They ain't going to get you titles. 
No, they certainly aren't. Um, how about some other moves? Huddersfield have bought uh, a player from France I've never heard of for 15 million. Tom Ince from Derby. Paul Ince's son, who was magnificent at Blackpool and Derby. He's only 25. He'll score them goals. Uh, bloke, Aaron Moy, Mui from Man City. They paid 8 million for this 26-year-old midfielder that Man City only got from Australia a couple of last year. Never played a single game for them. They paid 8 million. Another one Fuck from yeah. Portugal. Yeah, West Ham have had a couple that I thought was a bit odd. They've just got them in and turned them out and flogged them out. Uh, West Ham uh, always has been a dodgy club, though, isn't it, for things well, like Ashley that? Ashley Fletcher, um, they got him from Man United last season, I think, and then they've turned, got him for free, or maybe three million, and they've flogged him in the middle for six and a half, and Hardvard Nordveld, um, he was a young player yeah, at Arsenal. I was going to say he was something to do with us, wasn't he? He was on, yeah, Munch, Munch and Gladbach last season for, on free. Now they've flogged him for five million. They, again, they've bought um, Arnautovic for 24 million quid. The Debucci wow. killer. And they got uh, Javier Hernandez for 16 million. Now that is a good buy. That's a, that's a good piece of, of business from that. Joe Hart loaned in. Good. Was he a loan? I didn't actually see if that was a loan yeah. or a permanent deal. And they've sold Darren Randolph, their goalkeeper, Irish bloke, to Middlesbrough for five million. So that's a good deal. Good move. How about Spurs? They've done absolutely nothing. I think um, it's fantastic. They've bought no one and they've sold Carl Walker. Uh, Fazio, I think he might have been one of those ones with the bail money. They got two million for him, 50 for Walker. Luke McGee to Portsmouth on a free. And they've released two others and they've lent, sent one out on loan to Australia. No, that's because they haven't got any money. The Spurs but he said... Were, um, he also said as well, didn't he? He had no plans to uh, to bring anyone in because oh. he could uh, he could bring through uh, youth players. Yeah, it was they... a, it, basically they are going through what we had to go through with the transition yeah. from Highbury to the Emirates, where we would regularly sell off our best players and buy poverty in return. I think it was Steve or Fife was saying that um, due to Brexit and the the drop in the pound to the euro, which is about 1.11 at the moment, um, that it's cost them an extra 100 million or 130 million because of the exchange rate. I've had to get them on short term high interest loans. But um, yeah, go and ask Steve or Fife about that. Don't ask me because I um, finances is not my thing unless it's Tesco's two for one. Then I'm on it. See, 73295 uh, says get Van Dyke, but. Is he worth like sixty million odd quid? That's what they want for him. Uh, I don't I'm not, know. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, <sighs> but then it's going to ruin the career of either Chambers or Holding because uh, Cos is going to have to play every game unless he's uh, he gets flare up of his permanent injury, and uh, um, Mustafi he's got to play every game. So then you've got four other defenders: Gabriel Per. And the two young lads, you've got four players for one position. I know we've got all the cups coming up and they'll rotate them, but your best 11, yeah, you probably fit in there, but then the other two aren't going to get any games. See, I, I'd still keep Callum Chambers. I, I would have Callum Chambers in the playing squad for this season. Well, not in the playing squad, but in the team. Hmm. Not, in, not in the first 11. Well, it depends but... if he takes the Europa League seriously, doesn't he? Which I think he's never not taken a cup seriously. So I think he will. And then there's some games there. It'd be interesting teams, interesting games. I really hope we get Aberdeen because um, because of Ali, Aberdeen. Ali, I said Ali McBill, Ali Beg. He's um, he, I think he came on with us once. He's an Aberdeen fan. Does a lot of Scottish TV, Man United TV. So it'd be nice if we meet to get Aberdeen. But just looking at um, Brighton have only bought four players, two on a free, and eight million on the rest. And uh, yeah, Chelsea. In fact, they spent 132 million quid. Alvaro Morata, 58 million. Um, Bakayoko, 40 million. And um, Rudiger, 34 million. And they bought Willy Caballero. Uh, was he Roma? When he Roma yeah. centre back? I think he's a right back. And they're looking right at back. buying that other, another left back, aren't they, from Real Madrid? Maybe 60 million. It's just, uh, just ridiculous. But they're going to oh, the money. You mean um, Danilo, or is he already signed for Man City? Oh, I think he's on a Man City. There was another right back they were looking at, or left back for six. I think he said sixty-one million euros. Not Carvajal. No, I don't think actually it could name a hundred players. I would have no idea. But Man City and Chelsea have sold Nathan Aki twenty million, and Cuado for seventeen, Ber- Berkovic for ten. 
they've raked in 70 million quid but i'm just looking at the play they've lent out about 20 players on loan again yeah that sam greaves has got it right it's alexandro from juventus that's oh there you go of course it was 61 yeah. million yeah. Uh, yeah palace have bought one player a young 20 year old defender from holland from ajax everton well they're spending big they they'll now overtake us with um, their ability to get players they bought some decent players but the thing is they've, they've got the Lukaku money burning a hole. Do you think he'll do good things at Man United? Nope. I think they played boring Route 1 football last season, but they had the wonder that is um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic up front just doing magic, and now they're going to be hoofing it to Lukaku, who's going to be tapping it in from an inch out, or he'll have... He's got the first touch of a rapist. Remember, kids? Comedy value. And he is shit. He's no, no, wrong to say shit. He is a good goal scorer, but the type of football that you need from him, he is not the type of player. He's not like Sanchez. He's not going to thrill you every time. And people are going, yeah, we don't give the ball away. But Lukaku's got a notorious bad first touch and all of his goals. You don't win 1 0 very often, Lukaku gets the only goal. You'll win 4 0 and he'll get the middle two. Hmm. But what do I know? I've only ever played with him on FIFA. But Everton has spent 100 million and uh, brought in 110. Is Dean still in the chat window? He'll tell no, you. No, he signed off about oh. ten just after Matt. Oh, and, we, right. and we won't be going all night, people. I say uh, we will definitely end this by one. <laughs> yes, definitely. And um, we've been through Huddersfield, Leicester, Liverpool. They got Mohamed Salah, 25, 34 million, 25 years old. He's a decent player. I really like him. Good goal scorer playing out wide. This Robertson bloke from Hull. Hull has sold a load of players considering their shit. And Solanke from Liverpool. Three million from Chelsea for three million, uh, but it's quite a surprise Liverpool haven't done more. Been they mm. need an entire new defence, and they've bought one defender. The thing is, I was always there to believe that this was the this was Klopp's opportunity to mm. to make the team how he wanted it. It's the third season, rumors, isn't it? Yeah, there is rumours that um, Ox may end up there. He doesn't want to do. He may start every single game, but. I think it'd be. Do you know what? I think if we sold Oxley Chamberlain to Liverpool, you would see him be a superstar in the same way that we could employ Theo Walcott for the next five years and he would do bits in spits and spats. If we sold yeah. him to Liverpool, he would be scoring 20 or 30 goals a season. With Theo? Yeah, yeah. I, I guarantee if we sold him to Liverpool, he would fucking do the business there. I can guarantee it. But you remember the. Uh... The Spurs sold Gareth Bale, and so um, Barcelona had to had to get rid of um, Sanchez. Was it Sanchez, or was it? No, it was a, of course it wasn't Sanchez. It was Barcelona. They sold Bale, and then they let Özil go. So we got Özil. That's there's a three way thing at the moment. If um, if Barcelona can get Coutinho, then Liverpool will then go after someone big to replace Coutinho. I mean, no, it's PSG. If PSG by Neymar. And then they'll get Coutinho, and then they'll replace Coutinho with. It looks like they want the Ox, but but it does look like Neymar's on the move, doesn't it? Well, I mean, but he's... Yeah, but then there's pictures on Twitter the other day, we're all dancing and being happy. That's just the done thing in Spain, isn't it, Ronaldo? I want to go. I've had enough. We double your wages. I'm staying. Thank you very much. Uh, always, lo always loved the team. Oh, I've never, friend, never even what... thought about leaving, but it wasn't about the money. I've got Real Madrid wallpaper. How about Man City though? Two hundred and eight million pound they've spent. How many how many clubs below the Premier League could you you could probably buy all of League um, Two, all of League One, and half Championships teams and still have change from two hundred million? Fuck. That's ridiculous. They got that Benjamin Mendy from Monaco. I've never heard of him. Kyle Walker, we know Bernardo Silva. I know the name, don't know him. Edson Morales, the goalkeeper, 20, 30, 35 million, never fucking heard of him. Daniello from Real Madrid, never heard of him. Douglas Luiz, I thought it was a Chelsea centre back, never heard of him. And then they've, uh, they've got 37 million back. But see, they don't mind. They go, Zabaleta, get fucked. We don't want you. Caballero, goodbye. Kolarov, fuck off. All the players are now getting on a bit. And then they got rid of uh, Sanya and Clichy and Jesus and Jesus Navas. All these players. Go on, fuck off. Goodbye. Yeah. Which we don't do. No, it's, it's, it's the thing is as well. Like you look at, look at Sanya. Do you, do you think that he made a smart move? Because he didn't win the title with City, did he? Has he actually won anything with Man City? Don't think he has. It was one of those so he two that has won nothing. He he left Arsenal, where he would have won another FA Cup, or three. to go and play for Man City part-time. Yeah. 
Three seasons, and he played 54 league games. I'm just going to have a look. He won the uh, FA Cup with... Oh, he won the League Cup with, with Man City. And his last three seasons in the league, 16, 28, 9. Well done. Mm. And I, uh, Asanya was a player that I was genuinely disappointed when he left. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got nothing bad to say about him. Obviously, he wanted to move on. You know, money talks in football. I understand that. But, uh, yeah, when he, 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 was, he would have been one that I'd have said, yeah, you'd give him another couple of years. I think he's still got another couple of years in him. But then again, swings and roundabouts. If that hadn't happened, we wouldn't have discovered Bayern. So... True. And the Gail Clichy, he's only 32. He's now gone for a Turkish team that come from, they were like a Leicester in Turkey. I was asking Mems about this and he said they're just a team that have come from nowhere and they, I think they won the Turkish title last season or they, they come second. Um, I'm going to have a look at that because I can't remember where they finished. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's gone there. But Clichy, he fucked off and what did he, he, he played, oh, he played 192 games for them in the space of six years and he won, uh, Two, oh, you there? Two Premier League titles, two League Cups, and a Community Shield. So, you know, that's not too bad, is it? No. And uh, again, another one, Sami Nasri. Did you really go on and do anything with your career? I think he, in the first year that he was at Man City, he won a league. But apart from that, oh, that I don't that, think he did an awful lot out. That Turkish team were runners up, and they've made it into the. No. Um, they beat Fenerbahce, which is a uh, Van Persie, another fucking backstabbing toilet. Man United have only bought two players, haven't they? They've bought, um, I've not updated the site to put it on there, but um, some bloke called Lindhoff from Portugal for 35 million. Lindhoff's supposedly very, very good, Lindhoff. How about, remember that when uh, that Januzai bloke? Oh, he could play for England. He's the saviour of Man United. Oh, Belgium on it. He could play for anybody. Loaned out to Sunderland, did fuck all. He's now, they've sold him to Spain for 10 million or 9 Wait, million. Where did he go in Spain? Real Sociedad. Not exactly a big club, is it? No, they did Carlos 22. Vela, though, didn't they? Yeah, he's, he's had a bit of a um, a slope, a bad down period last season. Yeah. There's another bit of editing I haven't done. Newcastle, they've bought a few. Um, nothing massive. Southampton, they've bought one. Five million from Poland. We'll go and check all these sites later just to just make sure I've got it all right. Stoke have bought no one, but they've got they've sold 30 million quid's worth. They got rid of Jonathan Waters, the big fat Irishman, Glenn Whelan, big fat Irishman, Phil Barsley, big fat Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many of them were actually Irish, but uh, Swansea have bought three players, two free transfers, and a bloke from Las Palmas for 11 million. And who else are there? So we done. Watford, they spent 16 million, bought a few players, bought Tom Cleverley, he's half decent, but they never set the world on fire. West Brom, they bought one player for that Jay Rodriguez from Southampton. I think he had a couple of games for England. Looked very promising for a while. And they got a couple of players on freeze. And they got rid of a few. It's not very big, many big moves, is there? No, I mean, not massive. I think it, with, with most transfer windows, it normally takes that big one move. And I think the big one move will be Mbappe. And I think mm, that'll be Bob, to Real Madrid. There's no way we're going to get him. 130 million. Fucking behave yourself. Do you know something, though, Danny? There is a large part of me that thinks, and, and this might be my inner dumbass, yeah. if you go out and you spend £130 million on Mbappe, which I'm sure no. Arsenal Football Club could find. Oh, of course you go they out got and, it. You, you go out and buy that money and you show intention. You've bought a player that in a year's time could be worth in football terms and how economically it's growing twice that amount and get a couple of years out of him, even if he did want to make yeah, a step. I agree. To Madrid. I agree with that. But at some point, the Premier League is going to go NASL and it's going to collapse. And then, thank you very much. And it's going to collapse and it's going to be on its ass. Now, when that does, football is going to die because they've got all these players on all this money. I mean, look at how much of a... Um, I'd love to know the details of the Rooney move, but he was on 300 grand a week at Man United. He isn't just going to go and take a massive pay cut to go to Everton. I bet they're still paying his wages, some of it. £10 million pound move. Oh, yeah. Behave. I, I, can, I can guarantee you with that one that there was minimal transfer fee. They just, Man United went, take him yeah. and we'll pay part of his wages. Yeah. And uh, it's got something to do with the um, Lukaku deal as well, hasn't it? Because he's uh, not well, going to well, get game time, is he? Because let's be honest, Mourinho inherited him, uh, right? He's fat, he's getting older, 
Old. He's no longer brilliant for England. You know, uh, I don't ever think he was really brilliant for England anyway. No, I always thought he was overrated. As in, probably one of the worst captains England's had in a fucking long while. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, like, Mourinho isn't going to have him there on sentimentality. Okay, he's another one. He he spent the, a large portion of his career at Man United, and that's where he was adored. It's like Burkamp. Burkamp mm. was a, a, an exceptional player, but unfortunately, you have to accept that with time, players go downhill, and 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 that's exactly what it is. And you always cool. exactly the the thing is, it's a double edged sword because you've got the sentimentality towards the player and all that they've done for you, but you've got the other side of the sword, which is, well, we're never going to win anything with sentimentality. Can't mm. win, can you? Really? You certainly can't. I think we had a few that stayed on a little bit too long, but then you get some like like Lee Dixon, retired at the right time. Seaman should have retired as he had half a season at Man City. Winterburn went off to West Ham. Martin Keown went off to Reading, and then he went off to Leicester. Right, All the other right, way around. Yeah, he right went to West Ham, didn't he? Yeah, right, he was still... No, yeah, he, went, he went to... West Ham um, from West Ham. Celtic, Burnley, um, Forest. He had a loan at from other clubs. But how about just having the players, the ex-Arsenal players that have moved on this season from other clubs? Uh, Alex Manninger, retired from Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, 40. Vito Manone, Sunderland to Reading. Uh, James Shear, you've probably never heard of. Uh, Wimbledon to Luton. Josh Vickers, he was quite a highly rated young bloke. He ended up at Swansea and they've let him go. He's only 21. Sanya, we know. Philippe Senderos, Glasgow Rangers have let him go. Paul Rogers. Um, Fucking hell, he must have been shit. <laughs> he's, uh, he's only 32. He's still got a chance to make it big in the Swiss League. Uh, Paul Rogers, Stortford to Chelmsford. Uh, Daniel Boateng, uh, he had high hopes for him. He's he gone from at Oxford, didn't he? I think he may well have done. He was at Adrianians in Scotland. He's now fucked off to Poland. Rakow, I'm not even going to promise trying to announce that, Steve. C Z E S T O C H O W A. Oh, thank you. Sammy Ajay. I was talking to um, J- um, George Bird about that. He was a uh, quite a promising young player. He's to Cardiff to Rotherham. Brandon Ormond Otwell. Yeah. Conservative. He's gone. He's Swindon to let him go. Alexander Kleb, um, Krilia Sovetov Samara in Russia have let him go. Jermaine Pennant, yeah, he's done. Billericki, yay, guess then. English seventh tier, and he is on, I think he's on 10 grand a week there. He's with uh, um, Jamie O'Hara and who's that, Paul (coughs) Koncheski. So the bloke, yeah, it's an interesting story what he's done there. He's um, pumping an absolute fortune into that club. Expect them in a conference any day now. Uh, Matthew Flamini, Palace letting go. Lasana Diara, remember him? Yeah, we signed him for five million from Chelsea. Yeah, and then uh, he got the ump, wanted to play more often after six months. We let him. Yeah, he joined. Uh... Didn't he do Real Madrid? He, he played. But yeah, for he Real did Madrid. later. He went. Yeah. I think he signed there for about thirty million. Who did we okay. sell him to? Was it Crystal Palace? Oh, it's someone no. shit like that. Yeah, West Ham, I don't know. Diaby, Marseille have let him go after two seasons, played about six games. Hardvard, Norville, we've done. Connor Henderson, let go by Crawley Town. Rory Deacon, um, Sutton to Dundee. Anthony Jeffers, Bournemouth to Sutton. Yes, George Adam. Dobson. Adam Chamberlain, we are actually live right now, but not for much longer. Yes. George There's Dobson, West Ham. 76 people are watching Ham. now. So I think some of them have fallen asleep. Wake up! Maybe Anthony well, Stroke. Robert T five hundred. G Park. Sunshi Park. Yeah, he's um he went back to playing in Korea. Remember Anthony Stokes, the young Irish kid that we had, and yes. we loaned him to Falkirk, and he got like fifteen goals in seventeen games, and then and then he went somewhere else, and they went to Celtic, and he had two or three good seasons. He went to Blackburn last season. They got relegated. He scored hardly any goals. He's, they've let him go. Craig That's, Murphy's on the ball. It was Portsmouth. Diara got sold to. Oh, there you go. Nasser Bazarite? Yes. He's Wasn't he at um, a Turkish team? He is now, yeah. He's got a Turk. Uh, um, Fenerbahce? He was at Monaco for a while. Was Went he really? Two more. Jay Bothroyd? Yeah, I remember him. I've got him down as 23. That needs editing because he's not 23. He's uh, a very young, promising player. With us, got in a lot of trouble. We've shipped him off to um, Coventry. I think he retired. 
And then in Japan, he played, got a team promoted to the first division in Japan. Now he's gone back and played there again. He's a bit of a cult figure there. And Zach Ansa, Woken have let him go. But Nelson Vivas has got a new job. Um, do you see those pictures of him when he went mental, ripped his shirt off? Who? Nelson Vivas. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my. Jesus. Don't want to argue with him. Or hell of a right back. He's going to kill people. So there you go. That's a um, quick roundup of the players that are coming and going and going and coming and gone. I did see someone that put put that we have had some really shit players. <laughs> I mean, I can't I can't think of like even one of them that I would want one right leg back of any of them that you've just mentioned above. Uh, do you know where Bentner is at the moment? Oh, fucking on on his own planet probably. He's uh, playing. He's Danish, but he's playing in Norway for Rosenborg, who are top of the Norwegian league, and he's got I think maybe. Six or seven goals in 14 games. He's doing all right. Well, wow. Someone at Halle Adier, he's just um, retired from Chris's team, Leighton Orient in France. His team got relegated in France, and my team avoided relegation by about one point. Seven, seven three, two, nine, five. And this is one for you, Danny, because I know you like Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, where is Scalacci? I don't have to look uh, it up. He is at Bastia last I know. He's, no. he's, he's not going to be able to sleep until he knows. Can you just find out if he is still at Bastia? Yeah. Uh, okay, I can. And he spelt it wrong. It's S-Q-U-I-L-A-C-H-I. Uh, S-Q-U-I-L-A-C-H-I. I don't know if I felt it wrong. So I'll go and spell it wrong in there, and then I'll go and do a goggle of it. Scalacci, I'll put about three C's in that. Yeah, I think he was last at Bastia. Um, Sebastian Uh Yeah, still at Bastia. Been, he's played 78 games, five goals, and they are in the French First Division still. Scored two goals last season. Wow. He played, he played in, uh, 23 league games for us. Did they get relegated Bastia? I think they had a half decent season. Oh, where's the fact? Where's the little? He swore them for no reason. How uh, pissed oh, off would you be if you were a Monaco fan right now, though? Oh, well, only four years ago they were playing in the second division over there. They got relegated. People forget about that. They've, uh, yeah, but th- it's amazing because that's one of the richest enclaves. It's not a country. It's an enclave of, uh, in France, one of the richest places in the world, and they have had to sell all of their players crazy as the league champions wow but they've got a hell of a youth system thing is i mean they will they will end up getting rid of mbappe and i know that they will in mm. the same way that i fully believe that arsenal will get lamar well i don't know anything thing is in in unfortunately football has has become a game where there are no longer no morals and everyone has a price arsenal yep. will pay that price because i think personally alexis sanchez is gone and I think he's digging his heels in to leave. Let's have a uh, look at transfermarket.co.uk are their latest top, 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 top rumours. Why has that got Julio Batista going to Bolton? <laughs> How is that a top, top rumour? <laughs> I mean, I, I tweeted earlier that, would, that wouldn't, wouldn't it be sad if, if you look at the way Nasri and Fabregas forced their way out of the club if yeah. i had to think about alexi sanchez in but, the same way that i view right. either one of those two and i but, love um, alexi sanchez same as Percy, wouldn't it exactly the same yeah. player that we all is exactly yeah and now look at him kicking his heels playing for fenerbahce not even playing regularly but he's still getting the big bucks is he though is i mean is he on on massive money yeah, because they prized him away from us at Man United for two seasons, possibly three. I think it was two. And uh, yeah, if you go over to Turkey, you get paid a fortune. Transfer rumours. Number the highest with 75% is Nemanja Matic, um, Chelsea to Man United. And valued at 30 million. I don't know why they put market value of 30 million. He'll go for double that. Uh, the next one, 67%. Gilfie Sigerson coming from Swansea to Everton. So I think they've offered 30 or 35, they just keep making offers, they'll get him anyway. <laughs> the rumour is by H5N1 positive. That's fucking bird flu. <laughs> Jesus. Our next one is Ivan Perisic from Inter Milan to Man United. Uh, 
No idea. There is rumours. Uh, they reckon that Matic is uh, going to Man United as well. Yeah, that's the first one I said if you were listening. Oh, um, Renato Sanchez, Real Madrid, uh, Barca. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Bayern Munich to Chelsea. Uh, that's again by bird flu positive. He's a busy man. Probably getting it all in before he croaks it. Alexandro. Oh, there we go. Juventus to Chelsea. They're saying market value of 30 million. He's going to go for double that. And the next one, oh, the Ox, Arsenal to Liverpool. How much? They said his market value is 18, but I reckon if he did go, he'd be double that. 35, 30. Eric Dyer, another one, apparently the Spurs to Man United. They'll let him go. They've got back up. Martial, Man United to Wolfsburg. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. They won't even get half of what they paid for him. See, I could see I, I could see uh, Monaco selling that or all of their players, and I could see Martial being one that they bought back. Because yeah. he's not really I mean, I, I think he's a decent player, Martial. I, I just Good think on FIFA. He, He's been managed really poorly by Mourinho. I think if because yes, he doesn't Martial, like flair players, does he? If if Martial was an Arsenal player, I can guarantee you he'd be superb. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. He's, if he was at Arsenal, is that what you just said? I was just reading the tweet. Yeah, if he if he was Arsenal, Juno. he would have been superb. But I wouldn't. Let's yeah, see the thing time. Is, the time when he moved was this. Wasn't it the same time as we signed Danny Welbeck? I think it was. And it was like they paid thirty two million pounds and it was like, nah, I don't think he's quite worth that just yet. But he is obviously because they'll get every penny of that thirty million back for him. Guaranteed you know, if he leaves. You know, I completely forgot that we paid about sixteen, seventeen million for the ox. I yeah, we paid 15, 15 million we played for him, I think. But I think it's one of those things where you get more money on um when you win more stuff. But uh, just going to go and have a look at the sun because they've just um, just seen Chris tweet something uh, a couple of hours ago about their front page. Um, there you go, one hundred and twenty-five million pound write-off on the front on the the sports section of the Sun Online, and it's got a picture of um, where's it gone? It was at the top there. Oh, it's gone. Had a picture of um, the ox with twenty-five million crossed out. Sanchez with 50, um, forty million crossed out. 30 pictures gone now and there's got a picture of uh Ox and Ozil saying 225 million wasted wow i think Ozil will sign but i i think Ozil will sign because i don't think he can he can get the money he wants anywhere else oh they're saying that wenger is prepared to write off 125 million by making letting sanchez and Ozil leave for nothing and incredibly insists it is a quotes ideal situation oh this is uh, maybe what the, that person the question they asked earlier about what do you think to the press conference after about the big players having letting their contracts run down um, oh and he said something like i think in football you're going to see in future that that will become more and more regular and less of a, a weird thing it will become yeah. more the norm. It's only the norm at our club. Well, the question the was fucking club that lets it happen. Yeah, just give them a. Th yeah, but there again, if you you're going to look, they're going to want three hundred grand a week. If Ursula's on one forty, that means an extra hundred and sixty thousand pound a week for the next two years. Then how much is that going to come to? An absolute fortune. So the question was asked if um, Wenger was happy for Ozil to run down his hundred and forty thousand week deal. Wenger said, and quotes, "Yes, it is not an issue, and I think it's an ideal situation because everyone has to perform. It should not not change. If you have two years or one year left, you go out on the pitch." I don't understand. You do really think you sit down in the dressing room before the game and you think, oh, I only have one year left to go. I will not play well today. Where does this come from? And what does it have to do with the length of your contract? It's got a point, hasn't it? You should perform all the time. Thing is, though, I mean, you, you look at it from all angles. If you're Arsenal Football Club, you've got a player that sat there that you could easily command 45 million and someone will pay 45 million minimum. Minimum mm. for him. Even well, in not, his last not, year. Yeah, but to any other club they would. But for Arsenal, they know they can mug us off and they'll get him for 25 because we're mugs. Yeah, like 73s, yeah. but poor fucking management. But I don't blame Wenger for that. It's got to it be, is. it's got to be, um, Dick, is it Dick Law? Yeah. Uh, I don't know who deals with the contracts, to be honest. No, oh, so, nor do I. We could pretend we know. Yeah, it's, uh, Uncle, Uncle Orinoco. Yeah. 
But that's that's who's uh, effectively whose fault it is. That it should get literally. They shouldn't even let it get down to two years. It should be literally. You're into the last two years of your deal. Let's talk and negotiate a new contract and chuck you another four years. It should never get to that point <laughs> unless you're getting to the end of your career and yeah. it's a case of just see out your contract and then that's us done. Benny's per Arsenal is comparing his own contract to Ozil's. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The less, less you do, the more you get. Well, see, it's his new one, 10 million a year. Yeah. Dagan, I don't care. It's not my money. I don't, the, that club get not a single penny out of me. See, it, um, it fucking it makes me laugh the way you can sit in a press conference and talk to journalists about how they'd sold their seal that. Sorry, they they sell their soul and they and they tweet lies, uh, and yet he'd rather do his job because he's uh, a more trustable source, or or his job he doesn't have to lie as much when. And, and and this is talking in conjunction to the Alexi Sanchez um, talk about him being sick, which, let's be honest, is there actually anyone here that believes he's truly sick? No. Nope. Because Alexi Sanchez is the player that stormed off the pitch, that got fucked off when he was substituted. Uh. And that's the same player that would sit out a game of football for a cold when he's played for Chile with fucking thigh One problems. Leg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> It's not just, I mean, I know that if Arsenal come out and say, oh, we can't, well, obviously he doesn't want to be here anymore because that fucking knocks serious money off of any deal that any or any money that the club would pay for him. But really, I mean, why can't they just be honest with the fans? If he wants to leave, just fucking sell him and let's move on. Hmm. But Sam K Man makes another good point. He says, "How did Wenger do in his last year of his contract? Well, he's letting the players do exactly what he did. Usually, every Christmas when it comes with a year to go, then that's the end of the year, and his contract runs out on June the first or July the first, whichever one it is. He always waits to the last minute, and he does it all the time. So the players see him doing it. If you want to stay, you commit. You commit long term. You update your contract. If you've got a three year contract." Every two years, you update it. You don't leave it until what? FA Cup final day. What was that? End of May, middle of May. We still didn't know what Wenger was going to do. So how does he expect different from his own players? But I suppose if if um, Ozil's 30 this coming this coming season at some point, and over there, but he's 29. In the same way that Sanchez will also be nearing 30 or 30 just by the time his Arsenal contract runs out. I mean, you're talking, these, this, these aren't peak ages for players. I mean, 30 years old, I mean... I could I fucking I could be wrong, but I would consider thirty years old over the hill in footballing terms. Depends on what position. The yeah, further I mean, forward you go, the more you will attacking, be attacking. Yeah, of course. You, it depends on what you rely on your game. Like Ibrahimovic doesn't rely on pace, like Giroud doesn't. So you can carry on for your mid thirties. Or you look at someone like Del Piero or or um, Kaka or. Um, Oh, uh, the bloke playing in uh, for New York at the moment, Italian, with a beard, Perlo. Um, he could play until you're 60. Makes no difference. The, but you I look, mean, the, the skill is always to, there. If they're going to be 30 at some point this season, then you're going to be thinking, hold on, that's an extra 160 grand a year. And so that for that's going to be 160 is 2, 3, 20, 6, 40, that's 600 grand a month. Six, that's another £7 million you're playing Ozil on top of his normal wages this season. So maybe they're thinking, no, we'll leave him at 140 and that's seven million pound that we won't have to pay him. And then next season after that, that's going to be another 14 million. I don't know. These numbers all make sense. But if he signs a three year contract, Sanchez and Ozil, and it's going to cost um, 300 grand a week. What's that going to be? That's going to be 30 million pound deals or, or, or 20 million, some number like that. I'm not adding it up, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. But but I, I can also see it from a point of view that if you've got a player like Alexi Sanchez, that obviously the contract renewal is going to be three years, would you yeah. say? Yeah. For, for, for a player his age, you're going to be sat with a 32 year old Alexi Sanchez earning 300 grand a week. How the fuck do you get rid of him if he goes belly up and he starts to underperform? In the same way that it's quite ironic that we talked about Wayne Rooney on this podcast as well, because that would be exactly the same situation we'd be in with Sanchez and or Ozil if we were to give them three-year deals on 300 grand apiece. Well, a £300,000 a, a week contract for over 36 weeks, 36 years and 36... 
that's not right, is it? So it's going to get 300,000 times that but, by but 52, the that, then times the that by that three was... is going to be, it was one, two, three, one. That can't be 46 million pound over three seasons, can it? Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. So if they both sign it, that's virtually best part of 100 million pound over two seasons. Yeah. They should have a, um, commas on here because I can't, yeah, 46 million. So that, that's how much each player would earn on 300 grand a year over the space, 300 grand a week over the space of um, three seasons. So and you're you, committing to 100 million. That's maybe why the club are going, oh, fuck that. No, you're right. But, but you bookmark this, right? We're about two and a half, well, two, two hours, ten, whatever, into After Dark episode four. I bet you we're sat on a podcast in three years' time if either Ozil or Sanchez or both sign deals and we're moaning about paying that amount of money to a player that is constantly underperforming. I guarantee it. And yeah. I will, I will, I swear down. Down. Go back to, yeah, yes, we're down. I go yes. back to ABW episode number four. Yeah, and we will, we will, we will talk about this moment again. All of you good people listening, if you listen every week, when when it happens, remind us. Yeah, so odd, odd going listening back to early podcasts. I did um did that recently. Listened to one of the first ten, I think it was, and uh, we're just moaning about the same stuff we were now. But at the beginning of the season, every single player for me starts with a clean sheet, and the manager, and the club. And I'll go, right, forget about what's happened before. And we start again. And it won't be long. We'll go on a great run, maybe lose one or two games before Christmas, and then, then it will start to collapse. So, and, and, uh, really, the, the saddest thing about the whole Sanchez scenario is the fact that if I'm looking from my point of view as a fan, I'm sat here and I'm slowly starting to go off him and dislike him. Because I think if you're going to be such a little bitch, whether it's about money or Champions League, or whatever it is that you're digging your heels in about signing a new contract, then someone come out and just tell the truth. Just say, if you want to leave, fucking say you want to leave. If mm. you want to stay and you love the club, come out and say that you're an Arsenal fan. You love the club and you want to sign your last big deal with the club. Don't fucking mug us off and give us uncertainty because now this is what's causing the hatred and the animosity and the angst among the fans. This is why people go on Twitter and vent and fucking argue because they've got a difference of opinion. So you're going to try and be nice to people this season? You're going to stop being horrible? On the podcast or on Twitter? <laughs> Both, hopefully. Oh, I can answer one. On, on the podcast, <laughs> no. On Twitter, possibly. When someone annoys you, just send them a picture of a kitten. Or send them a I picture of Gunnar. Gunnar. I can't do that. You see, the thing is, right, you've noticed that this has been an after dark and there's not actually been that much swearing yeah. by our terms. I mean, you look at early days SBT, uh, SBC, and yeah. it was it was an F and a C every other. Steve, that's only, that's oh, that only was because Gav was on a lot. I was going to say, it was mostly Gav. <laughs> that's but, Steve's uh, ball yeah. collective. That's where we both started in, was it about October, November 2012? We've been talking yeah, and shit for five years. <laughs> We've been entertaining you fuckers for five years. Yeah. We've never received a penny, have we, Danny? Never. Well, not not for ourselves, no. But um, we've had no. lots of money in donations. We're going to open it up again 1st of August, which is... Uh, I can't see my batteries in my thing are dying. Um, oh, geez, that's Tuesday. 1st of August, we'll open it up for donations again. And we're still going to... haven't organised last season's donation thing where we... Oh, pardon me. Jeez, is that coming unexpectedly? Um, yeah, well, we've got the shirt and we've got some books that um, like um, uh, Akeeb donated three books. We're going to sort that out. And what we're going to do, we've decided um, we're going to go and get all the names of the people that have donated, all the ones that are only in the UK. And then we're going to go, right, we're going to say there's 15 people, um, going to randomly pick out 15 people. And then we're going to go, right, you can pick. We're going to have to separate the prizes up into like five lots and go, right, you come first. Which one of the five lots do you want? Second place, you get to pick from the last lot. And the person who comes fifth, you have to have what no one else wanted. <laughs> okay. We can only see the top of your head, you tit. What are you doing? I'm I'm angling the laptop. Sorry. Ah, very nice. Yeah, so we're going to sort that out um, probably before the start of the season because it's a bit shit that we've uh, had all that money from you lot laughing. You gave us about 600 quid last season. Um, yeah. So uh, we've had spent a lot of money and, and Steph alone gave us 60 quid towards the end of the season and I waited until Amazon Prime Day and then we brought John his HD 
um, top of the range Logitech 920 C camera. So John, because John will be hosting more radio shows this coming season. So. I, I don't need uh, a camera because the pixelated is ugly enough. <laughs> you don't need to see being, you without there being high definition. Do you know what I'm saying, fam? Um, uh, hopefully, um, the season starts in. Uh, I don't. I'm working out when the next show is going to be because me and Gimli are hopefully and Gimli and Kate are going to come up and see me and stay for the for a day. For the night and then we're going to try and work something out so the first game of the season is going to be on friday and i think we're going to start doing the, the podcast on a monday aren't we because then we're just after the weekend games and before the the europa league games is that what we're doing on yes. monday i'd completely yeah. forgotten about that i think very best, real that's problems what said. yeah remember spurs day is no longer friday thursday or the other way around so uh no. we're just thinking if the season starts on friday the 11th then the first regular podcast is probably going to be sometime before that. It doesn't matter because we can do it any day. I just yeah. say if uh, if if it so happens that we are actually playing on a Monday, that the podcast will be Tuesday. moved to the Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. and work so it the, like that. So the first game of the season is going to be Friday the eleventh. Charity Shield is going to be this um, Sun a week week today. Then maybe we're looking at sometime during. Uh, not next week, but a week after for a pod where we get a few people together. And then we're back regularly on the 14th, Monday the 14th of August is when we'll start the pods regularly every Monday. Unless we're playing on a Monday, then it'll be on a Tuesday or a Tuesday. And if we get knocked out of the Europa League in the very first game, it won't be as a group stage, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to be, yeah towards the middle of this middle of um, the year no middle of the season which is going to be i think if it takes a break all the league stuff is over for the europa league in about november december is it something like that yeah. i've yeah. got no fucking idea i i, to I happen to think that we might do extremely well in in the europa hopefully year. i'd like to see I, I, I all the young ones get a run out i do hope so I, I think that it's uh in terms of competition it's one that we can we can definitely chuck our hat in the ring to. I, mm. I think we've. I'd Some be pissed off if it, we though. didn't go at least to the semis. Yeah. Well, there's some, there's some decent teams in it this season. Or maybe I'm just and, have, uh, and over hoping. Well, the Europa League at the moment is is come through to the third qualifying rounds, and uh, and those you never heard of, they're all unimportant. Um, that's rubbish. Uh, who's that? No, they're all rubbish. Uh, no, there's some. I remember seeing some uh, Fenerbahce. They're two one up in there, so they'll be through to the the next stage, which is the knockout one, and then it'll be group stages. Uh, Lech Poznan, they're near, they're nil nil. PSV, they're losing one nil after the first leg. Uh, Sporting Brat, no, 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 not important. Zenit, um, Zenit from Russia, they're two nil up. But again, I know shitty place, but perfectly beatable as a team. Yeah. Bronby, another big uh, AC Milan. They're one nil up against a, a Romanian team. Panathinaikos are in it. Bordeaux, um, Sparta Prague, uh, Dynamo Zagreb, Again, Aberdeen, Marseille. You haven't said you haven't said anything there that that isn't perfectly fucking beatable. If we've got our arse in gear, Everton, and these are just in the the, the games building up to it. So uh, half of some of those are going to go through. There's going to be some interesting games. So uh, the, the the only team that would even give me the slightest bit of worry out of all the names that you've just reeled off there would be AC Milan. Yeah, oh, and even they're yeah. shit now. Oh god, now they've spent about 150 million. They're buying everybody. They've spent more money than any other team in Serie A. They've got new Chinese owners. They bought them last year for I think 500 million. Or two hundred. I'd love million. to beat Spurs in the final of That'd that because the, they will be in the Europa League football. sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, guaranteed. I can't, I, do you know what? I made a bet with someone the other day yeah. that they wouldn't finish in the top three. Yeah, Sam Greaves has just put that. I, it isn't going to happen. Right, so I think we should wrap this up. It's been nearly three hours, or just over three hours. So hopefully, the plan is um, maybe next weekend that you and Kate are going to come up, then we're going to get my big table, we're going to put this camera at the end of the table, you and me will be sat at the other end of the table, and then we'll do a, a pod from there, a live one like this, and then we will, like when OG came over, and hopefully that will work. And uh, yeah, I'll have had the, sort, the prizes sorted out by then. But yeah, we are running out of money. We haven't really got much to pay for. We've just been, well, um, I think Chris has had 17 sets of headphones already this last season. <laughs> I've only ever had two, three. Yeah. But then and again, then I do this shit every week. Well, yeah. most weeks, if I'm not having a meltdown. And my keyboard is knackered and Perrix don't want to know. 
it keeps going Ba-dung! and then it turns off i think it's because it's a backlit keyboard and my computer doesn't like the fact that it's drawing a lot of power so there you go right you can you can shut this down now yeah i, I should say as well um from we do really appreciate anything that you give us um we don't personally make any money from doing the podcast, but the donations that come in do help paying for the tech and make the sound quality better. So and we, SoundCloud, we've got to owe them 85 quid any day. Although, aren't we, like, with the music on SoundCloud, going to get kicked off of that soon? Uh, oh, I don't know. Hopefully not. <laughs> I would cross that bridge when we come to it because I don't want to spend £85 on something that they're going to fuck us up. No, we can pay it monthly, but then it turns out to be about 120 quid a year. Mm. That's a fucker. We we'll have to talk about we could, this. I could just we could just take all of our stuff off of there, and then um, it would still be on our site, but it won't be on iTunes. Like all of our old shows, but new seasons start it all, and then we well, don't I don't have music from from then onwards. But that's why we don't have people are thinking, oh what what music? I only listen on YouTube. Well, on YouTube we've never put music on because we've had about two of our videos taken off of YouTube and we had a warning. And yeah. Then, uh, I mean, they, may, they still monetize it, though. There's no way you can turn off um, certain pop-up adverts, which is how YouTube make their money. But um, yeah, you need to be make, having about 10, 20, 30,000 hits per show to make any kind of money from YouTube. And as our average one gets about 2,000. <laughs> and we aren't prepared to sell our souls like the good yeah. people at AFTV. <laughs> oh, and we've been on here for four years, and our total YouTube hits are... Just reached half five hundred thousand at the end of last season. Some people get that in one day with one show. So yeah, that's why we're never making money out of it. But literally, uh, for everything that you do and everyone that listens, we do really appreciate it. But we didn't. We don't really care how many people listen. No. As long as the people that listen enjoy what we do. Yeah. That's what matters to us, yeah, you, and that's what's important. Like the same with uh, many of the other Arsenal podcasts; they all interact with all their guests. But I listen to a lot of podcasts, and if you ever tweet them, tweet the account, let alone the individual people who run it, they'll never get a reply. If you retweet any of ABW, especially the account or us, then uh, I reply to everything. I always have done, even if uh, it's abuse. Really? Do have we had much abuse lately? No, just personal abuse. It's usually Davies calling me fatty. Hmm. Or Mike trying to send me naked pictures of him with a baconator on the end of his gentleman sausage. Oh, I know he's a dirty animal. Now that's an image. I will just say uh, a couple of shout outs before we go. (laughs) Real Madrid Monday LTV. Um, Great show, lads. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, Stefan Selby, thank you. Uh, Guna's in the USA. You know we love you guys anyway. Mike and Andy. Um, Yeah, Mike and Andy. Uh, K-Man Arsenal forever. Uh, enjoyed the babble. Uh, thank you very much. It's and 73, been... and Oscar. I, I can't believe that there are people that have stuck around for three hours <laughs> for this shit. Um, but thank you so oh, much. Assad. Incredibly Cheers, Assad. Yeah, Assad. And Audio Dean. file. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, p- pretty much. Thank you very much uh, for everyone that's interacted. If you want to leave a like at the bottom. Don't. Uh, don't. Don't leave a like. Don't thumb it. Don't thumb or down. Don't subscribe. It makes no fucking difference. After four years, we've realised no matter what you do, it makes fuck all difference. Yeah, you know even stoned, that makes sense. <laughs> Go and have a listen to Gooners in the USA, as usual. Mike and Andy do some some fine work there. And uh, yeah, then uh, my my friend Tom, and I think he's going to have Drew on. Who's Drew's just left ABW, so I think he's going to be on with uh, um, Tom's pod, which oh. is. Is is it that Tom? You shut up about Tom. Be nice. Oh, this is bad. You can actually see facial expressions now. I'm on camera. <laughs> Why can't I Not remember the, the name of it? Oh fuck it. And Mems has got a new one out where he's getting fans from all over the world to do one, and Craig is still doing his one. And then you've got the go. In fact, anything. Go to Gat Goonosphere. Go and bug them fuckers to do more pods. We want one a week from them. And if everybody said we'll give you a pound for every one you do every week, then Daniel and James and Jock and uh, and Sim. And uh, Devon, they might all pull their fucking fingers out and get some more done. And Tuesday Club, we want some more of that as well. In fact, go and support every Arsenal podcast because no one's making money out of it, really. And in fact, overall, in terms of Arsenal, let's just be positive for the season. At the end of the day, we are going into this season without Champions League football. We don't know what the future holds. We don't know if we're going to sign anybody. You know, 
I always go into the season so hopeful with what we've done. I, I did last year. I thought that there was every chance that we could win the league last year. And by half the time of the first game, you in tears. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I was fucking just deluded. <laughs> but I think that if we've learned anything from last season, it's that we need to unite as a fan base. And for all the Terry Tough cunts, yes, I used it, Jace, uh, and the Billy Big Bollocks that are on Twitter, fuck them. At the end of the day, they are people that are all about hits and clicks. Support your club. Be proud to wear the badge. Just as proud as what the players are. And let's have a great season and enjoy watching some great football, which I know we're going to watch some great goals and some great play. And hey, ho, this, let's see where we go. All us, though. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, not necessarily <laughs> all season. I mean, it, it will happen. I can guarantee it will happen. Just... Uh, I can't guarantee how frequently, but the yeah. main, mainly the vibe was just let's as fans let's unite and be positive. That will last about a week. Remember, people, this is all sports entertainment. Nothing we said was real. Don't sue us. We have no fucking money. Mm, Fair, exactly. This is this. Yeah, this is. I should say we should do a we should do a um a disclaimer a, like Cowan yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this podcast was for entertainment purposes. Anything said along the show, was not meant by either of the people that participated. <laughs> Thank you. And my name's there you go, Jason. we're covered now. My name's been Jason we're Davies. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've been Chris Carpenter. You watch out, uh, Neymar, it's happening. Mbappe, <laughs> I think it could be done. I, I think Mbappe will be done. <laughs> Fucking heard it here first. Oh, dear. All right, go on, say goodbye. Right. Oh... Time to go into host mode. Okay. So that was a Burkamp Wonderland podcast after dark episode number four, 18 plus. Do not listen if you're easily offended, although that should have come. At the Tell start. them that at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you so much for listening and keep it, Arsenal. Good night. Nano, nano, cheeky monkeys. Oh, fucking hell, I'm sweating like fuck. I haven't finished yet. Oh, we're not.